Ladies and gents, welcome everybody. All the little fellers in the chat, how are we doing? Yo, thank you, Iwazaru. I was actually gonna reply to your comment, uh, linking you to the website where I bought it from. <sighs> Hold on, let me find it. I think it was called something like... Based Floppa King or something. Oh, Based... Uh, wait. ShopBasedKing.com Um, they actually... That's like official Floppa merch. Like, they collaborated with the owners of, uh, Big Floppa. I might get more Floppa shirts. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, guys. Uh, how is your day or night going? I know <laughs> if there's someone who's not from, like, North America right now, then timing is probably shitty for you. Oh, also, I guess Australia has good time for this right now. But other than that, I'm sorry, guys. I know. Uh, blame me all you want. It's okay. But uh, my sleep schedule has been uh, disorganized, to say the least. So, uh... You know, we, we give and take. Sometimes it's a Europe-friendly stream, sometimes it's a US-friendly stream. We gotta satisfy the masses. Yo, thank you, TF2 God, for the super chat. Uh, membership, gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Uh, have you played Overwatch 2? No, I haven't. But I do know the game, of course. Yes, I finished Dundalk Island on stream, all of it. <laughs> I was unexpectedly woken up for dumb reasons, but hey, I got to catch an early stream. Welcome, Stefano. Welcome. Speaking of being woken up because of dumb uh, reasons, I had a wild dream <laughs> that was kind of surreal, and I thought it was actually happening. In that dream, I went to jail. <laughs> Not just me, me and my siblings. For some reason, at first, we were all in the same cell. And then for some reason, it cut to a part where I was in a solitary cell. Maybe the Saijima part in Yakuza 5 is rubbing off on me. Like, um, subconsciously. Yo, Kiwi, welcome! We have a first timer, welcome, welcome. I don't know how long the sentence was, but, yeah. Yo, Star. Nice, nice. Thank you, buddy. Why does the SMT5 re-release and Elden Ring DLC have to happen on the same day? It's not just those two. There's another game. I think it's a... It's not a triple A game. It's a double A game. It's a Souls-like Italian. I don't know the name. But that's also coming out on the same day as those two. It's like, guys, what happened? There's other days, you know? Did you hear Hellstorm in the dream? Thankfully, no. I would have lost my shit right there. Did you eat a surprisingly detailed bread? I did actually before the stream, but not in the dream. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, I'm actually gonna go into premium adventure first uh, to see if there's anything I wanna like stock up on and you know all that, and then we'll actually get to legend. Mm -hmm. 
I did not play Elden Ring yet, no. I bought it, I think, in one of the previous sales, but still didn't play it. Okay. Have you crafted every max star weapon for each job? Oh, yes, I did. And I maxed out a lot of other weapons, too. So I'm super ready. I maxed out some cool-looking weapons. Did that jump scare you guys? There we go. Volume should be a little better. Okay, do the awakening levels in DOD reset the new game plus? Not that I know of, no. I heard you actually have to do, or you have to redo a lot less in new game plus in this game. So in 7, for example, you had to redo all of the bonding if you wanted to unlock all the jobs again for the party members. Um, so that was annoying, but I heard you don't have to do this this time. Um, you can just do all of the drink links right after, you know, uh, the other. So that's good. Hey Leon, tip for legend playthrough. Party members start with one star weapons. I, I think I heard about that, yeah. No problem. Is the game still loud for you guys? Yo, Gengar, hope you're doing well. Okay, so like I said, before we jump into New Game Plus, we're gonna be just seeing if I'm missing anything that I want. Honestly, I'm at a point where I feel like these heals don't do that much. Because, like, Kiryu is at fucking 3000 HP. Um, MP is still helpful, though. Mm, yeah, I mean, I could stock up on this stuff, but... I did, it was Aria. Mm. Just a bit loud. Okay, hold on. <laughs> right, so... All the sub-stories are finished, so we don't have to worry about those. I got all the summons, I assume. Everything is done. Are you gonna upload the story bosses? I will upload story bosses and the dungeons like I did for 7. Mm, swimsuit only one. Yeah, there is an idea. Mm -hmm. I have 222 hours in the game now. And like... 60 maybe of those is just grinding. How'd you get to 96? Good question. Excellent question even. I'm glad you asked. Um, I honestly never thought I would be able to make it this far. Like the character level, not the job level. Because you reach a certain point in the big swell where you get like shit XP. Um, but because I went and, you know, grinded for like job level 99 for every single job. That was enough to get me to... Character level 96. So that's how I did it. How far in are you into the replay? We still haven't started. But yeah, I wanted to get 3k HP for the king, the goat. As you can see down below. I felt it's um, only fitting. Also, someone was asking me about weapons. And yes, I am probably overprepared. <laughs> um, I have upgraded some of the cooler looking weapons. Um, and some some of the ones with cool effects, like this one. Um, I grinded all the jobs 99 and 7. Is it more fun in 8, would you say? There's... It, it's more rewarding in 8. I mean, the, the grind... Grinding by nature is not supposed to be fun, I don't think. 
Unless you just love grinding, which I think you would be in the minority. I'm in that minority, by the way. Um, but the thing that makes the grind better in this game, every time you finish a floor, you get a booster. Booster is our big deal in this game. Like, they give them out like candy. So, you take everything you, you can get. Um, but yeah, the, the boosters, you know, from the, from the big swell make the grind uh, pretty pretty nice. What's the best legendary bat? The legendary bat or the poop bat? Like, they both have the same damage output. It's just this one can cause poison or blind, and then this one has, like, additional damage when you down enemies. They're both really good. But, like, poison probably is better in the long run. Especially for bosses. Yo, the derelict. Thank you for the honey tier, buddy. Thank you, thank you. How do you grind for jobs? Yes. The big swell, in particular. Um, before the big swell, yeah, the Yokohama dungeon and the ha the Hawaii dungeon. Or as it's called in the game, the labyrinth. <laughs> anyway, let me give you more of an idea as to like how many weapons I went and either crafted or maxed. I maxed this one for Psycho because it has HP recover. I assume this is a spoiler stream. Well, we're gonna run into bosses, so yeah. If, if you're, if you want to be careful, then, you know, I crafted a lot of stuff for uh, Sonhi as well. This one in particular, you know, can inflict paralyze, and that's super good. So I might just keep this over the, you know, the ultimate one. Although charm is also like really good, so I don't know. Thank you, Manizia. Yeah, if you guys don't want to get spoiled, uh, you know, I'm going to be playing the whole goddamn story, so. <laughs> mm. Favorite story fight? Honestly, probably the Dwight fights. They're so good. The first one is amazing. And then the boat one is amazing. And then um, even the one in the, the, the docks. I maxed out this one of all fucking weapons. It's a it's a two star weapon, but it can cause fear. Fear is really good, so maybe we'll use it, especially if I'm too OP. I still don't know how I'm gonna perform in New Game Plus. So, if I'm like really really overkill OP, I'm gonna use the weaker weapons. That's the plan. See. We can still make the game fun. Also max this one because it looks cool and it can cause poison and silence, so pretty good. This one can cause paralyze. Yo, camera, good. How are you? Sujimancer. It's pretty good. Um Yeah, like it wasn't exceptional, but it's good. I mean it, it does have all the elements. It has uh status ailments and and heals and resurrection so it's it's really good mm. i thought this weapon looked cool so i uh maxed this one. Oh yeah good question are you gonna do the playthrough in english we might do it in chinese but i mean we're not gonna watch cutscenes so annihilation clause i maxed a bunch of weapons for jungi I'm a premium adventurer, I found out the hero outfit. Wait, you can... Oh yeah, nice, nice. I kept asking if the Sujimancer is better than hero. I don't think, like, it's really hard to say a job is like objectively better than the other. Except for maybe very few jobs, which might truly suck. But Sujimancer is really good, it's really, really good. Hold on. Yeah, so recovery over time, and then I think he also has like a recovery, yeah, an insta recovery. And then this one, this Kiwami move is like AoE, everyone gets attacked no matter how far they are. And then the last one is a revive. All allies, not just one ally uh, revived, everybody. Um, and yeah, he has a lot in this job, so. What jobs would you say suck overall? 
As much as it pains me to say this, Zhao fans, listen, I love Zhao, you guys know this. But his base job is a hit or miss. Uh, let's take a look at him, actually. So, just like 7, a lot of blunt attacks. A few blade attacks. And these heals are okay, I guess. Maybe it's gonna be better in Legend. But, um, I don't know. My choice of a healer is someone else, usually. Um, I don't know what other jobs I would pick. Maybe... Maybe linebacker? Oh, breaker. Breaker is not that good, in my opinion. Or, well, you know, it's okay, but it's not crazy. Um... The max weapon is really good. What's the max weapon, actually? I know I crafted all the ultimate weapons for every single job. Hold on. Gear list. Recover MP when you receive a buff. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm all set. Like, if I switch jobs as well, I'm set. <laughs> Pretty sure I have every single job's ultimate weapon. So, we're good to go. Mm. This weapon is so cute. Maybe we should max it out. Even though, I don't know if I'm gonna switch uh, jobs, honestly. A lot of the weapons look uh, really cool. Also, shout out to this weapon. Uh, Leon, if you didn't know, beating New Game Plus Legend doesn't give you the New Game Plus Heart Trophy. Oh, wow, okay. More reason to replay the game. Pretty good, Rooster. Anyway, am I really missing anything at this point? I don't think I am. We have a couple of boosters. Now, who do I use the MP one on? You guys can't see, like, half the list, but... Chitose has the least MP right now, so maybe her. Reflex... Mm. Like, ideally, you want to use these on the Protags, right? Either, either Kiri or Ichiban, because, well, they're the Protags. You play as them more than anyone else, but... Oh, by the way, before this point, I used a shit ton of boosters, like... Look at Adachi. He used to be below 200. I buffed him enough to be over 200. Way over 200. So, Adachi's good. Or at least not horrible. Um, I guess we can give it to Adachi, but I mean... He's not doing that bad. Uh, Zhao also had very little agility. And I bu uh, buffed him. Would you say Infinite 12 is a game you'd 100% sometime in the future? Mmm... Maybe in like 30 years, but not anytime soon. But yeah, everybody in my party has decent agility at this point. Uh, maybe I should give one to Kiryu. He's like 5 points below Ichiman. I thought you put the DLC buffs in the inventory box. I did for the first playthrough, but I used them afterwards. You know what? Adachi. In the level booster, I'm gonna keep that for until I hit 98 with anyone. Probably for Ichiban. And then use uh, the last one. Uh, use this for the last level. Hell yeah, Enrico. Okay, let me save. Now let's go out. Actually, let's... Okay, guys, how much you want to bet someone is gonna walk in and be like, Oh, Leon, what what? What am I hearing? These are another Japanese voices. Fuck you! Place your bets now. <laughs> okay, new game plus. Recommended level 75. All enemies will be strengthened and battle rewards increased. Let's uh, do this. Okay. Level, money, gear, items, certain personality challenges, and unfinished business completion will be carried over. But some aspects, like sub-stories and particular events, will not. Okay. 
All right. Mm, yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, there's something I'm actually kind of worried about. And I forgot what it was. <laughs> Hopefully I remember. Yo, Ant Physics. Yo, Con. Yo, Randy. Look at that ant. Was it a copyright claim? No, I'm not gonna watch cutscenes. Except for the ant, because... I mean, look at it. Did it do the same thing for you guys, like the first frame of the soundbite was like 100 volume? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. See, now that, that's what I'm talking about. Having this from the beginning is really nice. Actually, let me check one more thing. People told me about this, but I want to check it real quick. Okay, we get to keep this and the beam. Sick, dude. Hell yeah. Did they move the camera to the right in this game, or am I crazy? You mean like this camera? They did change it. It's more dynamic now. Uh, is the wealth infinite? Almost. Are you happy with how Curious Story Arc ends in Infinite Wealth? I'm gonna say something very controversial. I don't give a shit about what they do with Kiryu at this point. Um, I feel like we're at, the, at a point of time where if they bring Kiryu back, it's just because, you know, they don't want to disappoint people. Holy, level 74? <laughs> God damn. If they give us a fun game, that's enough to make me happy. Which, this game is super fucking fun, so... Hey, I'm surprised he didn't die in one hit. So, maybe this is still gonna have some enjoyment. Actually, even on normal, I, I go to sweet encounters, they don't die in one hit. They don't. So, I'm actually pretty happy about that. And I used a lot of boosters, let me remind you. A lot of them. <laughs> Until the animation finishes. I think I get what you guys are saying, but like I said, even on normal, with my level, with my weapons and all that, they didn't die in one hit. Oh, wait. So I'm sure this game is gonna get a bit more challenging later on. Like, I'm not even expecting, like, I don't know, an hour fight. Probably ten minutes tops. Uh, yes, Stefano, b uh, boosters are permanent buffs. So, technically, you can get anyone to 9,000 HP. <laughs> By the way, a gentle reminder. We're playing through the story, so that means spoilers. Um, just saying so you don't go, Oh, fuck you, Leon, you spoiled the game for me. 
Yeah, we're yeah. Talk about spoilers. Go for it. If I don't talk about spoilers, someone in the chat will. So I mean, just you know. Can we get anyone to quadruple nine HP and MP? Yes, you can. If you have the time, which that's gonna take a shit ton of time. Unless, uh... Unless, you know... Did you expect Akiyama to show up? Yes, because they showed that in an early trailer. <laughs> they showed a lot of stuff in the trailers. How'd you grind to 96? The big swell. Mm. I'm actually taking more damage than I thought I would. So... I wonder how later fights are gonna be. What's the big swell? DLC dungeon. Can these unnecessary tutorials be disabled in options? I don't think so. I don't think you can, no. Wait, you can control the cutscene quality? What? This is my first Yakuza Platinum Trophy, yet I'm still looking for excuses to play, to play the game. Hey! If you're a completionist, aim for 100%. You don't have to stop at the Platinum. Wait, uh... Oh. How do the jobs work in this game? Do they still have permanent stat buffs? Yes, they do, yeah. Uh, but instead of having, like, two moves to inherit, like, as soon as you hit those levels, you can pick any move you want this time. You can also pick a Kiwami move to inherit. Can't wait for the level 6000 Roman Reynolds. Same. <laughs> yeah, the big swell is part of that $20 DLC. Feels bad. And now I know what you're thinking. Fuck you, Leon. Why do you have the big swell? What can I say? <laughs> Oh, thank you, boss. Oh, yeah. Guys, we hit 95k subs. It's all thanks to you guys, so thank you. Thank you. You guys are the best. Thank you. As soon as I saw that, my heart was like... Hey, Leon, I feel like you're overleveled. I thought the same when I played Yakuza 7, but we still had challenging fights that I died in, so... Besides my cosplay at 100k. Oh! Kanda cosplay, how about that? Speaking of real Yakuza... <laughs> have you guys heard about the the news that came up recently? Uh, there's been um, a court case in the US about uh, some Japanese Yakuza uh, leader um, trafficking nuclear materials. Sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Man, it's insane how, like, every single time we think, no, no, no fucking way. Well, well, who wrote this plot twist? May A year later, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Maybe it is marketing for the game. Nice. Man, it feels good replaying the game with everything that you unlocked. Which is why Sega, you know, for future reference, maybe include the new game plus in the base game. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. My question now is, what VTuber is gonna cover the scandals? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. How'd you feel about the MI? One of the best characters in the game. Hands down, bruh. I think almost everybody that I've seen play the game. Like, they might have had a problem or two with some characters, but Yamai is like... Almost unanimously loved. Mm -hmm. Leon, the hate for the English voices stopped when 8 came out, right? No. <laughs> Funnily enough, they're still going. Like, I I've seen Instagram comment sections of official RGG posts. It's like, holy shit, guys. When are you gonna get over it? <laughs> this only- this ha by the way, the thing that I'm talking about was like a few days ago. Seeing people still argue about the English voices, I'm like, bruh. Yo, Nipote. Uh, yeah, I love the game. <laughs> you got a favorite track in the game? Oh, I got favorite tracks. Nice. The four is awesome. Uh, Barracuda. Uh, what is he my team again? Kuki? Uh, Twin Machetes. The Hawaii Street Battle Team. There's a lot of good ones. Ichiban? <laughs> Brutality, yeah. Bye bye! Yeah, this is the Chinese dub. Oh, yeah, Wong Toast theme. What is it called? Was it Fountain Pen or something? Pretty damn good truck. I want to know what your hot take is with this franchise. I'll start. Yakuza 7 soundtrack was not that good. My hot take. Okay. I mean, this is a very predictable one for me, but... Um, a lot of... Actually, wait, no, 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 no. It's not what I was gonna say initially. I thought of something else. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A lot of the problems um, that haunt this game, if you will, either plot-wise or gameplay-wise, are in a bunch of other RGG games, and those games did, did not get shit for, the, for that. Particular same stuff. They don't. Um, I think Yakuza Zero has the same pacing issues, and five, especially five. 
But I mean, that is to no one's surprise. Um, and yeah, I get like they should improve on that thing instead of like just making it uh, happen the like again and again. But I mean, you know, that's why New Game Plus is there. And that's why New Game Plus should be free, Sega. You hear me? <laughs> so you can just enjoy the game to, to, to its fullest. I think, who was it? Was it Gokudoni in his latest video? He said, like, uh, the pacing issues are pretty much gone with New Game Plus, so, you know. What Yakuza games got great pacing? I'll start. Surprisingly, OG Yakuza 1. I think has one of the best uh, pacings in the whole franchise. Nothing overstates its welcome. Nothing. Look at look at Namba's nose. <laughs> He's got that silly, silly snot. Okay, gotta change their weapons, like people said. Actually, I'm curious how much damage I'm gonna do right now. I, I mean, it's not the worst, but yeah. By the way, you see this move right here? I had no idea about how fucking busted this is because I never used it. But I watched a friend of mine play through this game. And this works on enemies up to like mini bosses. It's actually fucking insane <laughs> how good this move is in this game. Let's make use of it. It doesn't matter how much HP the enemy has. They're gone. They're gone. Like, just... dead. <laughs> I think it's just, like, actual bosses that it doesn't work on, probably. Okay. Wow. Actually, wait, now I'm gonna use that. Okay, maybe this is overkill, so let's use that. Does it depend on the level? I don't think so. Wait, wait. No, it doesn't depend on anything. It's just a chance, and I don't know if you can raise that chance. Um, head tra yeah, it's head trauma 2 or 3, depending on how you look at it. How the fuck did you get the Igasta bat? Um, I picked up a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, I grinded a shit ton <laughs> in the big swell, so that helped. Um, I think I got like 50 or 60 from there. And then I had like 20 laying around from the DLC, so that helped. Yo, Irina, how you doing? Mm, let me use the ice one. I think I'll just go with these for now. I probably don't even need to put accessories, honestly, but we'll see. Uh, is the Big Swell DLC worth it? Normally I would say no, because, like... Oh, it's overpriced, but if you know you're gonna play this game for, like, a while, might as well. I really want to be that optimist and say, like, you know, yeah, guys, we totally can make a change right now, but I'm not so sure about that. At least not for this game, of course. Mm. What genre of games do you hate? I don't know if I hate a genre, but... I'm not into Souls-like games, so there's that.
Which is funny because I bought Elden Ring, but I did that because I want to give it a try. Nice, I know. Mm. Okay, oh, unsubscribing. Okay, chat. Okay, listen. If Souls Like is so good, then why is there no Souls Like 2? Riddle me that. Souls games are great, but the community gets so mad if you play a certain way. Oh, I can fucking imagine. I heard a lot about this from a friend of mine, like, the, the Souls community loves to just say, like, get good, <laughs> if you, like, fuck up. I'm like, yeah, I get it, you're so fucking good. How about you play Kurohyo too and show me how good you are? Yeah, I didn't think you would have anything to say to that. Um, the Souls community is probably, like... Very skillful until they play another difficult game that is not Souls like, and then they just shit on that instead of getting good. <laughs> oh, getting good. Mm. Have we done a stream of playing with mouse and keyboard? I don't think so. Or maybe I did. Ooh, okay, maybe that weapon is a little too powerful. <laughs> God damn. We're still in the beginning, though. Even with seven, the beginning, like, you fly by it. Lords of the Fallen. No, I don't think so. Souls like players have a lot of shit to say until they play Sekiro. Oh, is that a, is that like a thing? <laughs> have you found a show recently that's got you hooked? Not recently, no, but like a year or two ago. No, actually, no, a bit longer than that. I'm not a show or a movie person, but when I got into Evil Dead, ho ho ho, that Evil Dead show is so fucking good, dude. Okay, let me save. Okay, fellas, remind me to make saves, okay? So I can just go back and, uh, you know, record the, the bosses. Legend. Look at that, look at that beautiful legend text over there. Bro, Evil Dead is so fucking good. Um, again, I'm, I'm not a show person. Yeah, there's an Evil Dead show. Dude, if you don't know about it, do, do yourself a favor. Watch it. It's, it's... It's epic. Huh? Huh? I haven't seen anything that does what Evil Dead does. Or at least, you know, as well as Evil Dead does it. Yeah, Ash vs. Evil Dead is the show. I hate the fact that there's a save limit. Same. It's everybody's favorite dungeon theme. I do wonder if they changed the the pickups at all. Wait, wasn't there an item there? Oh. Maybe not. Oh, look at the guys. Look at the little guys in the chat enjoying the hell out of the theme. Look at all the cat jammers. Oh, hold on. We gotta celebrate for this. Samba, samba. Yeah, tell him, number. Hey guys, what are you crying for? Come on. Okay, so the pickups are the same, I guess. Okay, let me... 
fix the volume. Smackdown was one of the best things they added. Great. Though we still need the Harati amulet. And I don't think that's in. The power of a can, I guess. One thing I love about Judgment is that they limit your heals. Honestly, a lot of Yakuza games do, especially like Yakuza 1 and 2 OG. You can carry like, what, 9 in total? You can technically still have a shit ton in Judgment. But well, then you have OG 1 and 2, where you can actually get fucked in the finale. If you use a lot of uh, heals. What's next for this license? Wait, you mean like, the future of RGG? I have no idea. Buddy, if I was with RGG Studio, I would not be able to say that. Not saying that I'm with them, but you know. <laughs> Even if I knew. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even take the items. I don't need them. Nice, Stefano. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. You know what's funny about that podcast? The amount of times I've seen people... The amount of times I've seen people in that podcast, they hear someone, one person in the podcast, say something. They're like, oh, man, I can't believe all of you guys think, you know, so-and-so. It's like, dude, do you have... Do you have any comprehension? <laughs> like... Just because someone said something doesn't mean we all agree. Uh, uh, no ship, not at all. Not at all, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ricky, why not? Hawaii is gonna return, 100%. I say 100%, but watch it not come back. But I mean, it's too big of a map not to uh, use again. I think we're all gonna laugh if the next game is Judgment and it's in Hawaii. Just because of the, like, the absurdity of the situation. Because Lost Judgment did that too. They just took Yokohama. Okay, probably shouldn't save here, honestly. Oh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh hell yeah, guys! What is the what is this theme called? Let's uh, test you guys on this. Holy, this weapon is good. <laughs> this is a new game plus playthrough. If the plot is cult again, sign me up. Hell yeah. I really like the Pelicanic cult as like a faction. Okay, 
离武器，直接冲到会长室去吧。Yeah, welcome. 开头 ever say where Yagami went to? Yeah, he mentioned like another Japanese、uh, prefecture, and Yagami mentions that he fought a bear. Hey, buddy. I know just the thing to do, actually. Yeah, Yagami was playing Yakuza Five. <laughs> was it actually Tsukimino he went to? I was just thinking about that, but I wasn't sure. That's funny. I wonder if it's the same bear he fought then. It's a shame this game is so easy. I feel like any new game plus for any kind of challenge. Yeah, like, man, it's so interesting with this game how, depending on your playstyle, it's either difficult or easy as hell. I think Gokudoni is like the only person that I know that had a hard time with the game. <laughs> I need to sit down with him and talk about that experience again. Because thinking back on it, I think he did say he tried to rush the story. That's probably why. Um, his total playtime was what, fifty something hours? Mine was seventy six. But then you have Snowiest. He he had a playtime of what, forty something hours? And according to him, he didn't rush through things. I don't know how he did it. Yo, Lucas. Is that a Theronite fan I see in the chat? Mm, actually, hold on. I didn't touch the dungeons and was like five to six levels below all the bosses. It was very doable. See, that's what I mean. Like every, like almost literally everybody I spoke to about Infinite Twelve, they had a different experience. Infinite Twelve is personalized. <laughs> this is the Chinese dub, yeah. Why, dude? Why am I looting stuff? <laughs> I still can't、uh, figure that out. <laughs> Hell yeah, Faye! <laughs> Boss time. Yeah, we we already broke the guard of the guy, but I guess we have to do it again. Oh yeah, Konoichi is amazing. Okay, Namba. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, 
Which boss is the hardest in this game, in your opinion? Probably the three Gma fights. What about you guys? Three point five million XP in the fucking beginning. God damn, dude. Look, it's uh, a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's save over here, I guess. It's Hawaii time, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me of that fight. I hate it. Yeah, that Onimichio, uh, Robo-Michio fight, or fights. I hate those. <laughs> that actually did give me more trouble than anything else. And I hate that. Favorite boss battle? Ooh. I don't know, man. There's a lot of banger ones in this game. Obviously, the three Gemma fight is amazing. But, like... I'm trying not to pick something so basic. And, like, basic is not bad, but, you know... Uh, that's I feel like that's predictable. If... If, if we exclude that fight... Maybe the Dwight fight with the shark. It's such a fun fight, dude. Uh, by basic, I mean predictable. Because, like, probably 90% of chat is going to say the 3 Gemma fight is the best. So. Ooh, okay, okay. Now this we can keep. And I know what you're thinking. Leon, please keep that one scene later. No. God, like, say what you will about infinite wealth. But for what feels like the first time ever, we got an actual, like, Yakuza-esque scene. It's so good. Like, when you first hear about Yakuza, this is probably what you expect. And we didn't get it until this game. Dude, such a good scene, god damn. Oof. That thing went right through him. Saijima had one in four. Here's the thing, though, it doesn't hit the same, especially after you play the game. <laughs> this one, though, it doesn't change. Like, it's still so fucking cool. Like, people actually die here. <laughs> but yeah, I do, I do like that shootout scene, don't get me wrong, it's just... When you look at this, it's like... Alright. What about the Kiwami 2 Jingwen Massacre? It would be cool if there wasn't like one person in a hallway. One person per, per hallway. It didn't feel like a massacre, honestly. It just felt like... Oh, uh... There's two guys in this hideout. Go kill them. 
The so I should eyeball scene. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> exactly, Sayro. But yeah, like, I, I don't want to hold it against the Yakuza 2 too much because it's like, you know, the second game. But still. For an event that was called a massacre, you would think, oh shit. A lot of blood, but, uh. Yeah, that was a really cool scene as well. Um, I don't know a lot. Bye bye, fingers. There goes another finger. There goes another finger. God damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, Natrius. Do you think each one of Yagami will get a call up in Yakuza 9? Maybe. Can we get a moment of silence for the foreman, fortune teller, and gambler jobs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hikawa not being phased is pretty ballsy. I love that they brought back Andre, to be honest. <laughs> In hindsight, probably same here. Can't wait for them to bring back Mine now, and uh, Rekia, and everybody else that died. Ballsy motherfucker. Hey, Nancy! Yo, thank you, Ricky, for the super chat. Do you think Judge 3 will have multiple playable characters? Maybe. I kinda hope it does, but... Like, I, I don't want them to... I don't know. I don't want them to fuck up the pacing. What's your guys' favorite essence? Probably Essence of Remembrance. God, that goes so hard. What about you guys? Oh, Sonhee's uh, moves are really cool as well. What was the second one called? Essence of Spiderweb? So fucking cool. Oh yeah, Jungi's um knife Kiwami move is also really cool. Dude, that's even mean anything in Yakuza now? No, they don't. <laughs> I saw a post on Twitter uh, a day or two ago. Maybe some of you saw my post or retweet before I deleted it. But like, I deleted that tweet as soon as I posted it. Um, I think someone was talking about how... I think Yokoyama or someone, the, the director, didn't know that Hanawa was gonna be popular. I retweeted and I typed, they're gonna bring him back. Mark my fucking words. But then I was like, oh shit, wait, maybe a lot of people didn't play Yakuza 8 yet, so I deleted that. 
But yeah, I mean, fucking watch it happen. I just kind of hate that they, you know, only do this to popular characters for the most part. I, I just wish they stick to the narrative they initially planned. On behalf of all of our crew, thank you for Yo, derelict! You have become my favorite asshole on the internet. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the 30. Thank you. Um, here's to plenty more years of uh, uh, being the asshole of YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Was Lao Kalong popular? See, Andre and Lao Kalong, probably not. But like, um, who was it again? Uh, Jungi was pretty popular. They brought him back. Uh, there was another example too that I'm not thinking about. We should watch this cutscene in English. Uh, sorry. Chinese. A lot of people told me their English in the Chinese dub is really good. They revived Mori, now got to kill him again. Funny. He's gonna be revived again, just watch. Anua has like the most plausible and highest gun shot survival chance in the game's history. I agree. My friend came up with a theory saying that if he didn't pretend to be dead, it would have been worse for him, so maybe he did that. And he's gonna show up later. As you know, like a Daidoji tactic to play dead. Maybe? Maybe they're onto something, you know? Oh, look at this asshole. <laughs> Officer, help! I'm being robbed! This hooden wanted my money, and he pointed. A gun right at me. Alright, alright, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! Get on your knees! Right now! Yeah, yeah. Arrest the scumbag. I'm pissing myself over here. Wait, did they cut Arrest the scumbag? Otherwise, it sounds really good. That man is no safe. Who you should be arresting is the driver. He's the real thief, and if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Look at this asshole run away now. <laughs> Bro, I love this scene so much. God, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Hi, I could not take Bryce seriously in any scene. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? The Bryce Japanese dub was the best. But yeah, someone in my chat before said that in China, like they... Um, like they're more heavy on the English learning than uh, in Japan or something along those lines. So that's why like they have a better uh that that's why it sounds better here. Mm. <laughs> Nice Afro Ichiban. 
Guys, what do you think of this afro? Beautiful afro right here. Is it so wrong that I played so many games I didn't trust the price the moment I saw him? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people thought he was sus as hell from his reveal. Let's see if this is the same spot as it was in the story. I'm pretty sure it was that one. <laughs> it is. Low lives. God damn, who needs allies when you have this bet? Oh, hey, AJ. Bye bye. New York is a trope. People in wheelchairs being evil. Yeah, it happened twice now, which isn't much, but you know how the meme goes. But it's weird that it happened twice. Aloha. Thank. Oh. Yeah, this AG guy seems very nice. Can't wait to have him as a party member. Okay, this is unskippable, so I'll be right back. <笑>你太客气了 住在异人町, <笑> 这个真的是枪伤吗？哦，那个时候救了我的人，就是我刚才跟你提过的我的朋友。本来他都已经去公司上班了，结果最近又把工作给丢了。啊，我想起来了。God oh, help! wanted my Yakuza collector editions. And he pointed a gun right at me. Can you believe that shit? Hey! God, speaking of collector editions for Yakuza, I need to buy the physical release for this game. And Judgment, and Lost Judgment. So, Leon, which villain do you like more, Bryce or Ebina? This doesn't mean which one is better. Which one do you prefer more? Honestly, Bryce. Uh, from what I've seen, a lot of people were disappointed by Bryce, or they didn't get what they want, I guess. But I thought Bryce was awesome. What about you guys? I fucking love the fight as well. It's like the perfect mix between Goofy and, uh, you know, Epic. Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait. Oh 
Oof. OK， 去吧。春日先生，机会来了。啊呀呀呀！全力以赴。Ever since you guys dropped the holy grenade meme, Bryce became even more lovable for me. <laughs> oh shit! Did I save? No, I don't think you even get a chance, do you? Oh wait, wait, wait! We do, we do. The chat, the two save points. The faction logos in this game are so good. It is, Commander. PC reboot. My favorite move. Taste steel. What is bro doing? <laughs> Wasn't there an action sequence? Oh, there we go, there we go. Kinda random, but while the final boss's dynamic intro is cool, I hate how they made Namba, Zhao, and Sonny stupid as hell in it. I actually agree with that. God, they got their moment to shine in the 3G must fight, but the fact that even I just bodied everybody except Kiryu- Actually, he bodied Kiryu even. It's like, really? Come on. <laughs> I get it, Kiryu's weakened, but... But the party members aren't. Okay. Yeah, it does get points for me though, just because they include included like uh, literally everybody for the first time. That was cool. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, so that's the EMI fight. Even I was powered by pure rage. Yeah, the power of revenge. Maybe I'll nerf myself more. Uh oh, naked time. Mm mm mm, grills. <sighs> Police QTE time. <laughs> I love how this QTE doesn't even matter. Stop! Stop! Ibina wanted so much to kill the Yakus that he became one himself. Yep. Don't matter. You're not getting right. away. You can't run forever. Oh yeah. Don't do anything stupid. We're gonna lock your ass. Here he is. Get him. Hun Dan. Free. You're not getting away.
，不许动！举起手来。No, no English. Am I the only one who thinks the QTs in this game feel off? Like I think it's mainly the sound effects and lag of heat effects. No, you're not the only one in, uh, with that. I feel like a couple of them in particular feel like they lack a bit of impact. This is such a soothing tune. I love it. There we go, 3k HP, as it should be. Yeah, there's a randomizer for this game already. Uh, the mod creator was actually here uh, some time ago. And I do want to play that, hopefully after this playthrough. Oh yeah, I love the Policano. I'll kick you down. The living legend, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Chill, carry you, goddamn. Beast. Cancer nerf, they say. <laughs> what are they talking about? Have you seen this guy? RPG should come with a built-in randomizer, in my opinion. I agree. In an ideal world, we would have that. But, you know. You know. Aloha. Aloha. Okay, I was. I said I was gonna kind of weaken each one a little bit. Is that good enough? Hi. Welcome to the Oh, I brought people. Mark my words, Yakuza 9 is gonna have a new bar. And you know what's gonna happen. In an ideal world, we wouldn't have to pay for New Game Plus. Exactly. <laughs> Aloha! Aloha! Do you get anything for maxing the friendships? Because I still haven't. And I don't know if that carries over either. Aloha. In an ideal world, that Souls would have won Game of the Year. What are you looking at? What are you? Oh, what here are we you go. <laughs> what? Are what? You at? Nice. We broke the law. We just somehow dodged that encounter. I think he just got equipment. I see. From what I've seen, the equipment isn't even that good. Oh. What are you looking at? In an ideal world, that Souls 2 exists. That is true as well. Yeah. Maybe one day, guys. Actually, any day now.
Uh, a mainline game just got pushed out, so... Oh, I think I should have saved. Actually, no, 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 no. You have to sit through all of the drink links again? That's fine. I'm just glad I don't have to redo all of the bonding stuff again. Like, level all that shit up again. Oh! Yo, nice. Now this is gonna be story only. That felt like a Kuroda grunt. Maybe that was just me, though. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Commander, I know. Welcome, buddy. Welcome! Guys, who in the chat loves Tamizawa? I'll start. Me! Okay, for Tamizawa, I'm, I'm gonna give him the beetle weapon. Look at that beetle just chilling on that stick. <laughs> what do we give him? Do we even need to give him anything? Maybe MP. Have any of you tried this? Perfect guards just making you avoid an attack, but like it's harder to get the input. I haven't. We can try it. Tomizawa casually having every single fucking magic element. <laughs> and gun attacks and... Um, blunt attacks. Chat, what do you want? Could be anything. Just, you know, what do you want? <laughs> Who's your least favorite party member? Huh? Huh? This is gonna sound like I'm dissing the party members, but I'm not. It's literally just a case of like there's too many good party members like story-wise and gameplay-wise that you know there is eventually gonna be a preference right but i love pretty much all the party members what's with your face chat sheesh um i'm gonna base my choices on how my grind went i prioritized so here's how it goes uh maybe i'm not gonna include ichiban and kiryu because like when i grinded i Kind of try to focus on them because they're the two protags. Other than that, though, the the two party members that I kind of focused on last were Adachi and Namba. Even though, again, don't be like, "Oh fuck you, Leon! How could you hate like Adachi and Namba?" I love them. It's just <laughs> all of them are so good. You know, I eventually have to like have a preference. Um, but yeah, I guess those two. Like, if I were to form a party. They're, they're probably not going to be on it. If I had every party member. Even though Adachi has a rest. I need to save. <laughs> Judgment time. Actually, let me redirect the question to you guys. Who's your least party... Uh, favorite party member you guys yeah Zepiri wow. 
every time I get to this one, I think it's like... Uh, left, but no, it's right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Namba, Zhao, Namba, Chitose, Zhao, holy. The Zhao hate right now. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I used Psycho and Adachi the least. I see. Yeah, that's the guy who gets barracuda The fool. Wait, I can't his house. There wasn't a boss, I don't think, was there? I freaking love you to say, but I think your job sucks. It's not a show, shithead. Yeah, I do think her default job is among the weaker ones, which. You know, in a in a collection of really solid jobs, um, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that means her job is still good, but just not not as good. Um, the best moves that she has in her default job is the heal and the attack debuff. I would say. Hold up. I love the scene. Been playing and through my second playthrough made it to level 71 plus should i try new game plus hard mode i would say yeah 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 you do keep that dondoki beam as well <laughs> yeah that that scene is really good <laughs> All right. Tennis is paid to win. It's the only game with a straight up guaranteed defense debuff. Is it? Wait, doesn't uh doesn't that job also have an attack and magic buff, or am I tripping? Speaking of Dondoko, I straight up wish it was cut from New Game Plus. <laughs> yeah, I get you. At least, you know, on replays, it's gonna take you like maybe, what, 20 minutes to get through? To think. At best, hopefully. Yeah, Darren, I get you. Wow, that does not do much on this difficulty. <laughs> uh... Yeah. 
I wish he didn't have to unlock all of the city again. That would have been nice. Can you say that again, please? What's the highest damage you all gotten? I think you got like 10k. I think I got like 11k. And I saw a video getting 16k. Abilities that double your damage on the next move are pretty busted. Which for me, I didn't use that, but... The example I was talking about was 16k. They used uh, a move like that. Uh, oh. Stuff like this I kinda wish was just not there on replays. Are you ready? That's crazy! I love it! Genius! Extreme! 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 Sorry, Engie! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, we can't just sit around for three minutes. But since we're here, might as well. Actually, wait. Does it pause time if you do this? Okay, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're not doing that then. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around collecting stuff. Almost fell down from that one. Oops. Do the jumps. I would, but I think those don't pause the time, since it's an animation. Say it with him. Yo, yeah, zombie dude. Actually, let me do intentional, uh... I thought it could fall like that, can't you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now that's fun. <laughs> Get 
got ragdolled, Ichiban. I wonder how long that took. Three minutes? Maybe a little more. Okay. Time for the $30 bribery. Jeff is a really humble fella. Oh, Roman time. Are you sure you can afford thirty dollars? Very good question. <laughs> I should double check just in case. What are you looking at? Chat, if Devil Leon Seven asked you, what are you looking at? The chain is, the chain is show, dipshit. What would your response be? Hey, Leon. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, got him. What you looking at? What you looking at? What you stop, please? Thank you. Look, the Yokohama River, but clean. Don't understand the thirty dollar. What? Like, why is it such a low quantity? Probably because they. Took feedback from the three million yen um, grind for Yakuza Seven, if I had to guess. Yo, Corny, I I'm enjoying it so far. Okay, Roman time. We might have to beat those guys. <laughs> this ain't a show, dipshit. What are you looking at? There's Roman. Uh oh. I'm gonna fuck you. Roman Reynolds. Huh? By the way, you might be thinking right now, holy shit, you obliterated them, Leon. Um, I think we actually had about the same performance when I did my first playthrough. I like New Game Plus, knowing that dungeons were high levels, just wish I didn't have to do Dondoko two extra times. Wait, I thought you keep your stuff in the replay, don't you? Damn, freak. You still gotta wait the 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do wish, like... That wasn't a thing in the replay. Same thing for like the crazy delivery uh, tutorial. Like, if you want to make people pay for that, then at least take care of issues like that, you know? Like, just having a selection 
Hey, do you want to skip the tutorial for Crazy Delivery or Dundalk Island? <laughs> yeah, freak. I'm so glad, like, a lot of stuff carry over. Oh. Oh. What? No. I was kind of expecting that on the playthrough, but was slightly disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Sucks that Sosuke isn't brought up at all after 5. Well, are you talking about Yakuza 5, a game where like 20 characters were introduced and they never came back? <laughs> it's the Barracuda chapter, guys. Surprisingly, I didn't, you know, I didn't see uh, Nakajima coming back, but he, he came back. He did. And technically, Morinaga also came back. Same, Corny. Yo, gain me team over. What? Just watch Aizawa being the next bartender. Either that, or he's gonna become a villain again. Mm. Give us Baba. <laughs> What if it is? What if it is? Roman just wanted the car for his son, you know. How do we all feel about Wonk 2? I love the character so much. I'm so sad they wasted him the way they did. Honestly, he's he's very uh, playable character material, but that didn't happen. Ow! Ow! It's pretty weird that the party just forgets about his son until Chitose brings it up. Yeah, I honestly did not did not expect for that to happen even. I'm so glad that at least that happened. That is something. Like at least, you know, g given that that happened, you can just assume like, oh, they probably came back for him later. I honestly thought Wonkto would be playable. I'm sad he wasn't. Yeah. If there was a trade-off, like say for example, Jungi and Zhao were not playable, what Wong To was. I think I would take that. Call me crazy, but uh Would you take Kimai and Wong To as playable characters over Jungi and Zhao? Yes, <laughs> I would. I think most people would, honestly. Cause like, you know, we love Jungi and Zhao, but considering how they handled those two in this game, I think most people would be fine with uh, that choice or trade-off. Like, I, I just said that if Wong To alone was playable, I think it would be worth it, but Wong To and Yamai? Fuck yeah, dude. I would have preferred having Hanuma and Wong To be playable. The weird thing about Hanawa is that multiple times in the story he mentions like how old and useless he is. 
Which probably is another one, another um, uh, thing that goes to show that Gaiden was written after this game, you know? Because, like, he does fight alongside you and Gaiden. It's like once, but still. And he doesn't have an impressive fighting style. What you looking at? What you looking at? Oh no, sub stories. Anyone else think Jungi was kind of flanderized? I don't know if I saw that word before. Always going on about fitness. He did the same in 7 though, I'm pretty sure. He had at least one part of the conversation about it. What are you looking at? Oh god, the Sujimon Battles tutorial. <laughs> what are you looking at? What do you think of the theory that Morinaga is Hanawa? It's not a theory, they confirmed that. Or Yokoyama did at least. Yeah, um, well, I mean, I guess you can take this with a grain of salt, but there was a cosplayer, a Japanese cosplayer, that talked about, like, going up to Yokoyama and asking him about clues as to, you know, whether or not that is true. And he straight up was just like, yeah, that is, yeah, he's Morinaga, yeah, what about that? And then, like, an employee next time was like, uh, sir, should we, should we reveal that? <laughs> and the Okuyama was like, yeah, what? Like, didn't people get it? <laughs> Such a Yokoyama thing to do. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Bruno. Mm. I thought the shot of Hanawa being dead was like a fake out and was going to be reversed later, but it just didn't happen. Yeah. Ma hey, maybe it's going to be reversed in a future game, you know? <laughs> that was me after Hanawa died. <laughs> It would be funny if Hanawa just came back, yeah. Yes, you're the boss now. The man who cheated death twice. Mm -hmm. There was someone that made a mod for Hanawa in Gaiden that gave him like uh, Morinaga's appearance. Like gave him a mustache and uh, brown hair, slicked back. Okay. Guys, it's time. Do 
Um... Actually, let me save closer to here so it's uh, more apparent. Okay, let's do this. Can you fail catching your starter Sujimon? Probably not. I'm not sure. Leon, what's your, who's your favorite? Wait, what's your favorite Yama in Dwight what? fight? Favorite the white fight, it's a tie between the first one and the shark one. I think the first one is really good as well. I mean, it has a dynamic intro that is really sick. Yamai, though, probably the one where, like, one of the hostesses gives him a butt slap. Just a moment, ladies. You're gonna do what? Banger alert! Wait, what is this guy doing? <laughs> okay. Did they ever explain why the Daidoji went to rescue Akane? No. Don't think so. I kinda wanna do this thing. I kinda wanna reduce the game volume and up the music volume. Who's with me on that one? So we can just hear the music blasting. Music only playthrough, yeah. Okay. Uh I mean yeah, probably just this. And voices. And this way I can raise the uh the volume actually. There we go. Forty, maybe that's a little overkill, we'll find out. Did that one die doji agent and how I not look and sound like Minnie to anyone else? No, I feel like it's a situation similar to the Kiwami one where the guy, people said he looked like Minnie, but I don't really see it. Wasn't the reason because she could bring down Bryce and in turn with her the dark Oh wait, 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 wait. They, yeah, wait, 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 wait. They did mention something like that now that you mention it. Um they mentioned like the Bryce uh faction, the Palicano. Actually, not just them. The Daidoji were going against the entire goddamn government, so <laughs> like Yeah, they probably wanted to uh better their odds. By securing um okay, and not letting Bryce get what he wanted. Yo, Carlos, welcome. Fellas, can we pour one out for Roman? I was just starting to like the guy. How could they do this? We could have had a playable Roman? Maybe? Corrupt cop turned uh, ally? You know? Oh, Roman! Hey, who you got there with you? Tiny Mura uh, moment. Just a side job. Really, nothing big. 
Anyway, what's going on? Why'd you shut everything down? Yeah, didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it how, exactly? Oh, poor guy. I'm gonna put you in the plane. I actually do think Roman could have been a solid party member. It feels like they set him up to be something like that, but then, you know... Ooh, the dodge, okay. I feel like the sound effect volume is still kind of high. What a theme. I'm gonna I like how this button is always triangle. Dude, why am I picking up stuff? <laughs> Surprisingly, I feel like we don't hear the Barracuda theme enough in this game. Agreed. I actually saw someone else say that on my chat before, too. Do we even bother with the laser pickups? The hell do you want? The hell do you want? Oh, heat action, okay. Zero out of ten stream, no Barracuda theme. We could just open YouTube and blast it right now. Put it into the soundboard. <laughs> you seriously piss me. The laser damage is not scaled at all. There's no consequence for running through them. You seriously? Mm, I feel like you're tricking me. Mm. Go to Mizawa, you okay, buddy? Well, his stable is gone. Alright. 
By the way, is it just me, or we're getting way more MP from basic attacks on this difficulty? Is that like a legend thing? The mines on Nella Island were so funny, I went through all of them. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> yeah, let's see, hope you're doing well too. Yo, James, how are you doing, buddy? Ooh, whoa, that guy was not okay. Uh, controversial, but Bryce's battle theme is better than the Barracuda theme. Hey, more power to you. Chitose time. Banana. Yeah, let's see. Uh, should we save? I guess we can. For now. Uh, just beat my own legend playthrough the other night. Ibina did 1800 damage to me with an attack. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Kind of wished, uh... Yeah, grape juice, same. Uh, let's see. Wait, there's a fucking healing station, why did I do that? Wait. Oh, okay. That's how they get you with the healing stations. Yeah. I have a funny story with the guy that hosts his videos. I actually wanted space um, to render uh, the podcast. Actually, I don't know if I needed it. But I, like, freed up some space just in case. And guess what I deleted? <laughs> Not Gaiden. But there's a mod that replaces all the hostess videos in Gaiden with a picture of a frog. And I got that. I got, like, free 24 gigabytes back. I th think I know what you're talking about, Isaac. Might have happened, so... Uh, with me with each one. That menacing walk. Yeah, Gaiden is like 86 gigabytes. 24 gigs are for the hostess videos. 24 other gigs are for the Yakuza 8 demo. Making it the biggest Yakuza game in file size. Okay. Let's give her... Maybe that. Or maybe this. Yeah, let's give her that. Yeah, the biggest in file size, yet like the smallest the Yakuza game. Funny how that works. Actually, I'll give her uh, agility. Yep. Alright, watch this. Oh, wait. Got it. <laughs> 
，得找准时机，一口气跑过去。Bruh, bruh, what? There we go. Like it's nothing. The hell do you want? The hell do you want? I don't think they removed the demo. No. I do wish he can toggle that off, but he can't. Yeah, the Chinese dub is pretty good. Are we about to hear Chinese then it's right? Oh yeah, we are. God, look at Kiryu with a 3000 HP. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Leon, turn down the music a bit, it's hard to hear. Oh, is it? There we go. Guys, you're supposed to tell me about this kind of thing. Now you're all gonna be banned. Mods, get the chat, like all... I don't know how many of you there are. What you looking at? Your mama. I'll bury you. Mm. Sounded fine to me. Ooh. Oh, buddy, God damn. What you looking at? I'm Where are the mods when Leon needs them? Oh, they're they're watching. Trust me, somewhere. <laughs> Not really a fan of the English stuff, so I'm glad the Chinese stuff is quality. Yeah. Part of me hopes that we get more languages in the future as well. I want to play Yakuza with, like, an Italian dub. Because <laughs> why not? Or, like, a French dub or Spanish. Because that would be hilarious. Leon, who's your favorite RGG pro tag? I don't know. Do we only count uh, Kiryu Ichiban and Yagami, or like, is it literally any any character who's playable? Ooh. Fellas, banger alert. Does this team play here only? A warm welcome to our impromptu guests. Mm -hmm. Now let's get this show on the road. First up, we got an all access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot. It's to die for. To die for. This show is going to be sold out. Got whoa! Oh, the bowling. God damn. Oh, 
doggo time. I feel like it doesn't matter who they get for English carry, people would hate it. That's what I've been saying too, yeah. Like honestly, whenever people just suggest anyone for Kiryu at this point, I'm like... I'm like, you know people are still gonna hate it, right? Because like, that's why I just never care who they get at this point. Same thing for Akiyama, by the way. Now that people have been playing the game, I've been hearing people talk about uh, English dub Akiyama. I just like, who the f... Like, if people have a problem with Daryl, they're gonna have a problem with every single Kiryu voice actor at this point. Yo, Ty Bell, good, how are you? The only way you can get them to like it is if Koroda himself voices Kiryu in English. And even then, people will hate. Yo, Koroda doesn't speak, right? What the hell is this? Just watch. Microsoft Sam as Kiryu. <laughs> hell yeah. The ultimate solution. I think they level up, Axel. Uh oh. Put your hands together for our top model extraordinaire! Showtime's <laughs> over, boys and girls! Say your prayer! You know what would be nice? If they actually made better use of the uh, um, MP3 player, the Walkman feature, and they gave you the whole game soundtrack. Imagine that. Um, and now, instead of using it only in navigation, or, you know, exploration, you can use it in combat. How good would that be? Everybody would just use anything they want. Like, dun f f fucking dungeon grinding would not be nearly as tedious. Like, can you imagine that? People would just play fucking this song, Barracuda, anything. And they're like, yo, hell yeah! People will be fucking happy to grind for like 200 hours, if that was a thing. Oh, oh. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> RGG, if you like that idea, just saying, you know. Um, I would be a great ideas guy, hire me. Just kidding, of course. Leon, how many heat actions have you done? Do you know how to do them? Yeah, they have conditions like that. I don't know how many of them exactly there are, but... Are you gonna use boosters till your stats are ridiculously high? No, I don't want to, like, make it that busted. But, you know what stats I don't mind going ham on? Health, maybe, MP, agility, defense even. But I don't want to go too hard with attack and magic. Yeah, Kibo, exactly. We don't really have to pick up anything. Oh, hold up! We can beat your ass! Gotta beat your ass! God damn! Oh, 
I know this is not Yakuza related, but Namco said there's gonna be Tekken in Game Shop. Yeah, I heard about that. People gatekeeping? I mean, I don't know. I feel like people do have a right to be upset, but... There is a difference between being upset and being, like, unreasonable about uh, reality. Again, it's like the New Game Plus situation. Yeah, I hate it, but can I change it? No. <laughs> but I can talk about it. Um... They're telling people don't buy it. Wait, who's telling people don't buy it? To be fair, the costumes suck ass, you know why? You can't mix and match. If you buy an outfit from what I heard, you, can, you, you have to use the whole outfit. You can't like, I don't know, use a tank top with like, um, a legacy outfit. Like if you want me to pay for the costumes, at least make them customizable. That is horrible. And I also saw a tweet from Harada about like how people don't understand that, you know, game production costs are rising. And it's like, oh, you really think so, Harada? Well, maybe it's time you fucking don't make like a multi-billion dollar video game for once. How about that? But hey, no. We have to make the best graphics. We have to like, you know, you know how it goes with AAA games. God, I just, I just hate how much... It's funny to say this, but like I just hate how much uh, games have evolved, which sounds ironic. Because like on one hand, it's it's obviously a good thing, but then you have game companies fucking crunching the hell out of their employees just to like push out a mid product. And it's like, guys, please, you don't like you know you don't need to <laughs> you know you don't need to like do all of that. I genuinely do think we need, like, to hit a point where developers realize that he, they don't have to, you know, again, invest billions into a game just to push out a product that is missing a lot of things. Immortals of Avium cost like 125 million to make and nobody bought it. And I think people had the same conversation with Spider-Man 2, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they did, because like it didn't win Game of the Year, and like, where? It didn't win Game of the Year. Um, how much did Spider-Man cost? 300 million? Or was it more? But like, yeah, I mean, I I'm actually glad all of this is happening, because uh, maybe developers will actually take the fucking hint and realize, yo, we're investing way too much into games. Maybe we should, like, dial it down a little bit. Because, like, doing that as well, it's way, way, way harder for game companies to make profits. Or at least, you know, harder than it used to be. If, you, if your game costs, like, a fucking billion dollars to make, then no wonder it's going to be hard to profit off of that. Oh yeah, I'm just saying. Oh shit, character level up, nice. Is the Yakuza series triple A or double A? I don't think it's triple A, like still, to this day. Yeah, maybe double A, or a single A even. But like, I, honestly, I don't know the criteria for each uh, tier. So maybe I'm not the best person to ask. Yeah, freak. Like, between, you know, all of the rising development costs and all the layoffs... I sincerely hope something will change. Exactly, it's safe. This makes me glad, like, you know, whenever games like, um, Minecraft, for example, like, 
Look at how much that game blew up, and it wasn't about the graphics. So, games like that prove you don't need, like, again, a multi-billion dollar budget to make a game succeed. There's a lot of, like, smaller games out there that really exploded. Among Us. <laughs> Pal World. Yeah, Terraria as well, yeah. <laughs> Lethal Company, yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Indie games are popping right now. Yeah, hopefully, you know, big game companies actually take a fucking note from that. Because they should. Vampire Survivors, yeah, I was thinking about that one too. Um, I think, uh, what's it called? Wait! There was a zombie game that really also blew, uh, blew up. Like a survival game, uh, top down. I forgot the fucking name. Yeah, Hades as well. No, no, not the day before. A successful game. Zomboid, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm pretty sure Zomboid also blew up at a certain point. You know, just make a fun game that has actual mechanics and, like, a complete package. Oh yeah, Undertale also blew up. There's a lot of games. Alright, fellas, this is it. Yeah, Sam. And also, you know, by actually having lower budget games uh, that focus not on the graphics and, you know, all the, like, production value, but, like, they focus on the gameplay and just making a complete game. By doing that... Developers don't have to worry about DLC because, like, you know, they, they didn't spend a whole fortune to develop the game. Um, so that's another, like, upside to that uh, approach. Uh, I'm gonna save here. Alright, Dwight time. Mm hmm. Mm Exactly, this. Okay, let's see how he sounds like. No, I'm so sorry, giant coffee mug. Unless you're playing on PC, then you're good. God, this room is so gorgeous. Like you guys. Like my chat. Oh shit, I just realized I wanted to use a weaker weapon. Pretty good voice. 他们毁掉了农田。铺上了家里福尼亚运来的白沙我就是掌管所有的首领德怀特。I'm still waiting for a playable Dwight mod. Alright. Let me raise the banger alert, guys. Banger alert.
81. Okay. Nice stun. Bro, Kiryu is just handing out free stuns to everybody. <laughs> nice. Uh... Nice. Do I get a turn yet? Oh, he's about to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. He's a beefy boy. Ichiban! Hello? <laughs> Yeah, Freak, I agree with that. Like, you know, I did say this before, but for New Game Plus being something you pay for in this game, they should have put more effort. Like, you know, making stuff skippable, like the all the fucking minigame tutorials. Um, and they should have made it less of a hassle to replay by... Uh, if Like, I'm still not sure of all the, the details, but if there's anything you have to do again, you shouldn't have to do that again. <laughs> God damn! Span like a helicopter. Oh, here we go. Yo, these guys are going in. God damn. I'm gonna heal just in case. What, what, whoa, what the hell happened to her? <laughs> uh... Buckle up, Dwight. <laughs> Guys, put a one in the chat if you have a friend or someone in the family that drives like this. <laughs> uh. 
线，防护轮车。Nice. Look at that XP. God damn. Even the victory theme is so good. <gasps> Guys, why do you think Streamlabs just blinked? Let's speculate. Suspicious Minds. Is this the Wong Tao chapter or is it the next one? I can't remember. Why is so much XP? Legend. You get more XP. <laughs> Leon, do you mainly game on controller? Yes, I do. I'm a controller gamer, whether that's Xbox or PlayStation. What do you want? Wonk Toes, the next chapter, okay. So wait, do we have a boss in this chapter? Yamai, okay. Oh wait, the... Uh, the Yamai fight outside the hotel, right? I'm actually debating whether or not to add that to the story fights. Because like, yeah, it's a boss fight technically, but it feels... Very quick. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty quick. So if you have to redo all of these, that's not the worst thing. Because the more important part is you don't have to redo all of the bonds, see? Level 100. Oh! You don't have to redo the... Wait, you don't have to? I think you do, just to get these, the, like this stuff. But otherwise, yeah. You have the inheritance uh, slots, for example. Uh, but yeah, like skipping the bond stuff takes like, what, a minute at best? And then you have fucking Dondokan Island. <laughs> and the crazy taxi too. Or crazy delivery. Orphanage time. Tech in force. I do... See, I just thought of another thing. You should have been able to keep the street surfer. You you don't have it. You have to get that again. Feels bad. Oh, but... Guys, who cares about New Game Plus? Am I right? Am I right, gamers? Who cares about New Game Plus? Yeah, Bond Bingo doesn't carry over, but thankfully you don't need to unlock anything in that. What are you staring at? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait for the new game minus of the three Yakuza 9. Yo, Mike. Nice, what do you think? Am I the only one who hated Dondoku? No, I talk to quite a few people that do. It's a very specific kind of, like, side activity. It's a- it's basically a genre of a game. And not everyone is into that genre. Oh, shit! It's always up to modders to do what RGG could have easily done themselves. Yeah, that's what I don't get. And like, I do see other streamers talk about this as well, with games like Resident Evil, for example. A lot of simple fixes modders do within a day of the game's release. Um, you know, like, the company doesn't do. And like, I get they have protocols and like, a lot of hoops to jump through to get like, approval to release something. Or like each update for each update, but like I don't know, man. <laughs> Consoles especially must be a pain to push updates for. Yeah, exactly. Because like it has to go through Sony, uh, Sony, and uh, Microsoft first. And they have to, like, review the update or what have you. One of the worst defenders is Persona... Oh, yeah, I did see that. No. Someone already made a Persona 3 mod with the female playable character. And, you know, I'm not saying that's perfect because I didn't really look into it, but, I mean, you know... If modders already so did it, then, <laughs> like, uh, you know. But yeah, I do also fully understand that there's a lot of uh, QA to do for anything you add. Bro, guys, have, have any of you done the romance for this lady? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Toter, welcome. <laughs> Guys, if I said a slur right now, what are you gonna say? Well, people probably would want to get you banned, so don't even think about it. Like, don't don't walk on that line if you want to keep chatting. Okay, which romance do you guys think was, like, the weirdest? <laughs> By the way, like, I, I don't... This might be taken the wrong way by some people, but, like, I only have the best intentions by saying this. In a weird kind of way, I don't mind the stuff that happens in these romance um, scenes. If only to, like, prove a point to people, like, you know, even men in video games have stunt, uh, have stuff uh, done to them. Because, like, usually whenever something happens happens to a female character, people, like, are up in arms. Like, oh, how could they do this? Uh, when Yakuza shows time and time again how male characters get objectified. So, you know, just saying. 
very much in there, gonna... Look at all the good stuff. By the way, if you guys noticed, one one thing that's really good is that the permanent stat buffs are applied from the get-go, like as soon as you start. But like in 7, you actually had to switch to each individual job to get them. Which sucks. Mm -hmm. I did level everything to 99, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, wait. Being able to romance all the characters is weird to me since Ichiban is in love with Psycho. That's the thing though, like, I'm pretty sure Ichiban doesn't intend to romance anybody, it's just, you know, they think Ichiban is like making, uh, putting on the moves, but he's not. <laughs> exactly, Thirsty Ray. Ichiban's like, oh, hey, uh, you're looking for like this gift set, here you go. Oh, what's this? You want to, like, force yourself on me? Fuck off! Oh, what's this? It happens anyway? Well, shit. I didn't complete the Allo Happy pictures. Actually, wait, I completed just one. But, like, by the time I got it, it's kind of useless. Ah, uh, do we do it? I guess we can. What? Please tell me I don't have to buy the batteries again, though. Hey, it's also just a joke. I'm fully aware, like I said, I don't really care about it, but like... Imagine the outrage if it was the other way around. Like, imagine if Ichiban forced himself onto these ladies. People would be like, what the fuck, RGG? Remove this right now, or like, you know, don't do this ever again. Leon, who do you think wins in a death battle? Onomichio or Robo Robomichio? Without even looking at the rest. Robomichio is fucking insane. Okay, please tell me I don't have to buy the rest. Okay, I don't. Sick. Yeah, totally. They actually increased the uh, enemy level, or like changed the numbers around. Because like in 7, they also uh, did beef the enemies up, but you saw them like the same levels you do in your first playthrough. Okay, put a one in the chat if you struggled with Robo Michio. I feel like everybody did with that fucking asshole. I sure did. I would put a one if I could. He was actually harder than Amon for me. Okay, we have an obligatory dungeon now. What are you looking at? Exclude Robo Michio, who wins? Hmm. 
I don't know. Can I just say I'm happy Dexterity was removed? So wait, in 7, was there that and Agility, like, separated? See, this is yet another thing that would have been nice if they had, like, a skip option. Because, like, we all did this. What does Willpower do again? Pretty sure it's magic defense. Wanted to give the guy more than $10, I kind of found it weird. You couldn't get- yeah, I would have done the same. Here, buddy, million yen, go change your life. <laughs> You're welcome. Can't it just bail out to the first floor? I- that's a good question, actually. We'll try that. dollars by the way. Oh, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, nice. There's the. There's the... <laughs> 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 Okay, that wasn't the worst thing. Dunduk is gonna take more than this. XP. That's just the first floor, by the way. Like, I could have waited until New Game Plus to uh, grind everything, but I was determined. But for you guys, this might be a better way to uh, max everything. You know what I'm looking forward to? The Ammon fight. Not the, not the dungeon one. Uh, the story one. Because I hardly can beat it. Uh, on New Game Plus. Actually... Let me give him the b little beetle. Oh. Oh. Speaking of that, why is Joe using Shin's model? I have no idea, and I wish I, I had one. Um, I don't know, like, maybe someone in the dev team was like, oh, I'm on. Let me take Shin's model. Because, like, if, if they're trying to imply that all this time Shin is Joe, then I don't think they did a good job at, you know, telling that. Because, like, there's no build-up to it at all. It's just like, yo... I am Joe Ammon. Oh, hey, Joe Ammon, it's been a long time. Actually, not even it's been a long time, it's just like, you know. Okay, I don't know if there's a fight, so let me save. 
Wait, did we go through a boss fight? We didn't, did we? We didn't do the MI fight yet. Yeah, I saw that, Toru. Yeah, they could have literally just taken the Yakuza 6 model. What's your least favorite time on fights? God, it's hard to say, I think. Maybe the Shinada one in Yakuza 5? Maybe? Yeah, I know Kenshiro killed Joe technically, but like... Kamaki was also there and he came back. So how did he come back? <laughs> Let's check out Bryce. Wait, that's not a cutscene, right? Eight lead! Huh? What's wrong? Goddamn trigger stuck! By the way, this is another thing that. Uh... Shit! This is at once. <laughs> Madden Nera, you see, forbids the use of fire. In Bro, I think even in Chinese, conflicts. he sounds, uh, you know, not American. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Now, be good and hand me the gun. Bryce is just cursed. <laughs> and I love it. I actually do. It makes it memorable. Get the hell away from me! Okay, okay. What the hell happens here? Like... What did you just do? Such a pity. My friend was talking to me about how this is worse than rubber bullets, because like... Get the fuck away! You know, how the fuck did he calculate this? I swear he's a goddamn monster! I was talking to him about how they gave, like, faulty guns to the gangs, but then he told me, like, you know... That's, that doesn't work, because, like, they would have noticed, like, by the time this cutscene happens. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought as well, Mark, but, like, why that guy in particular, you know? You could just say, yeah, like, he gave a faulty gun to certain goons, but... Still very specific. Pop it on a swing. Oh. 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 For the hype, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's this scene. I'll actually take a break here. Uh, oh, uh, 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 We're like three hours in, and we're still in chapter six. Do you guys think we can pull this off in one stream? Uh, you know what this scene means? We're close to Dundaku.
，谢谢你了。I should have just used the Kiwami move here. Yeah, Mark. That's what I was thinking of, of too. go <laughs> okay i'm gonna look at the timer to calculate this actually so right now it's three hours five minutes let's see how long it takes thoughts on the crazy reason as to why kirin has cancer um like i can see why people would think it's out of left field but <laughs> I actually don't know what to say about it. Um, like, I think when they explained it, it did make sense. He took, like, a less desirable job that nobody in the Daidoji wanted to do. But also, I don't know. Like, I don't dislike it, but I also don't know if I like it. Oh, do I have to get the upgrades again? <laughs> what does the ending mean? Kyrie decided to get treatment. And... Hurricane Haruto actually did see Kyrie. But we didn't see it. something that makes it so you skip the time faster? I don't think there is. So I'm probably just gonna walk around. a mod that lets you skip faster. Uh, I wonder if you... If you use that mod, does it screw with anything in the online mode? Can't you end the day at the calendar? Yeah, I think it has to be nighttime. Or like at least evening. That OG became a meme. Yeah, I, like I get it, but also name a faction that didn't become a meme at some point, you know? The Tojo. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, the, the Tojo is like the the meme faction. The Yomi was a meme at some point, or points even. Um, people have problems with the Yomi Alliance. Um, same thing with the RK. Actually, the, the most favored faction probably is the RK. Funnily enough, and it's not in, it's not in a Yakuza game. 
black one day. There you go. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Guy that ma made it seem like there was more to them. I know. But like, there's a pattern with factions at this point, you know? And it seems like nobody's safe from them. Yeah, the side see the side of family. Belonging to the Toja clan. The amazing Toja clan. Is the metaphor Donda could have just put toilets everywhere? Toilets and the uh, forklifts in your room. Villain, would you say is more evil, Bryce or the Kaitofa's main villain? Uh, Bryce had more purpose, I would say. Kiyoya just came off as weird to me, honestly. Like, yeah, that scene at the party was really cool, but like, why, why did he do that, bro? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Man, this is one huge break segment, actually. We can just talk about whatever. What, like, what do you guys want to talk about? Pizza? Hell yeah. It throws all the previously crafted stuff in the item box. I actually don't know how that works. Maybe after the tutorial you get, like... Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Do you just have to put everything again? RGG, $20 for this. Hey, maybe I'm jumping the gun. Maybe once the tutorial is done, it all gets placed back or something. Copium. I feel like Yamai is 100% gonna be playable in Yakuza 9. There's no way he's not going to be. I didn't play Infinite Wealth yet, but it seems easy compared to 7. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say that. Having all the uh, quality of life stuff really helps with that too. better be playable in 9. I feel like Yakuza 9 is gonna be the game where, you know, the, some of the party members we're used to might not return. Which is, you know, sad, but... I feel like Namba might be uh, at the top of that list just because he's like, a, you know, um, an established actor, face model, and uh, voice actor as well. But, like, if we're going story-wise, then yeah, maybe Junki and Zhao. And Sonhi, actually. As much as I want to see her come back. I'm surprised Namba came back at all. Same. I I thought that would be it. Like, you know, there's no way he's gonna come back in 8. But there he is! And, like, it's not like he had a small role either. Like, he went all in. They're gonna erase my boy, Zhao. Nobody cared about Namba that much. I have a couple of friends who love him so much. And one of those two friends fucking hates Sonhi. He thinks she's the worst party member. <laughs> Story-wise, at least. And I'm like, bruh.
the other friend that I mentioned, I think it's safe to say uh, Namba is like his top favorite party member. Cheeto sus. I love that nickname. Do you get the notification as soon as you can go to sleep? Or like, should I keep trying? You know what I mean? I like how they added death to Jungi in this game. It's funny how, you know, technically speaking, even though Jungi has such a small role in this game compared to the other party members, He's still written better than Saiko, in my opinion. Um, like, it's not even the romance subplot that bothers me. I think the fact that they tried to go for a canonical romance is actually pretty brave, and I respect that. Um, I would much rather that than, you know, all the fucking bullshit with the... <laughs> like, romance substories, but they still did that anyway. Um... I was surprised none of the party members died. Well, n now you know that, you know, being a party member means something. You probably aren't gonna die. Yeah, ghost. <laughs> Same, boom. I would much rather have, like, one focused uh, romance plot over, like, Yo, there's like 20 people to pick. Pick anyone you want. Because usually, not always, but usually when they do that, like the effort is all spread out, but like not evenly, not enough. So everybody is like on a very shallow level. Oh, huh? she's <laughs> We're 12 minutes in, guys. I feel like speedrunners are gonna have a field day with this one. Like, this is gonna be the huge break segment. <laughs> like, oh, gotta go to the toilet. Oh, we still have like two hours? Okay, let me go like cook up uh, <laughs> some burgers. Oh, let me make some coffee. Oh, we still have some time? Okay, let me go like hang out with a friend. And the whole family, and then I'll come back. And then after they do all of that, the tutorial is done. Yeah, I really do hope there's gonna be a Dundoku skip somehow. Because if not, yikes. Is it a day three that you can leave? I think it's day three, right? <laughs> I feel like Adachi will get reduced to a role, a reduced role in the next game. Possible, possible, but like, have you seen his body? <laughs> I don't know. Why is Kasuga so old? I don't know. His first game was like... How old was he? 42? Maybe he's gonna age like fine wine. Like Adachi. Favorite Yamai fight? Yeah, mine is the club one as well. The, the one in the forest would be awesome if there was, like, I don't know, a QTE at least. Or maybe even just a dynamic intro. Because, like, that, you know, that whole scenery is so, so cool. Mm -hmm. 
How old will Adachi be in nine, four years from now? 67. Probably. It's funny how, like, I've seen multiple people assume nine is gonna be in four years. What if it's in two years, <laughs> you know? Because, like, they have a lot of the assets uh, ready with this game, assuming they reuse Hawaii again. Um... I do wonder how many spin-offs we're gonna get until... Yeah, it's a nine. Yeah, what if it's next week? Maybe it's next week. They did release Persona 3 and Infinite Wealth, like, a few weeks apart. <laughs> Do you think we'll see Tatsuya again? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Feels like that's what the big swell was. I really enjoyed the big swell, like the story especially, and I want to see more stuff like that. Bro, the whole the fucking squatting scene. <laughs> It's so good. Who would you like for a Gaiden game? Honestly, anybody. I'm not really picky. If it's a fun game, then sign me up. Yeah, ship. <laughs> Yeah, Adrian, I know, right? Yeah, Ghost. Like, stuff like what we see in the Big Swell is what I imagine the party to be doing, like, in between story segments, you know? It's perfect. If Korohyo 3 gets announced, I will go to Japan and kiss Yokoyama. <laughs> nice. Does New Game Plus reset Dondoku decorations? Apparently, yeah. Because, like, everything is, is in my storage. Look at this. After all I've done. $20, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't let go of that. Like, come on. Yo, Saffle, nice. What'd you think? I was wondering what that Jungi clip that you used in this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right from the big swell. Does it ever go on sale? What, you mean this game or just Yakuza games? Every game goes on sale eventually. From my experience, linebacker is just okay. Yeah. It's more of a tank class than an attack class. But, like, it's mid. The DLC specifically. Yeah, probably at some point. Maybe in a few months from now. Not Call of Duty. True. <laughs> Though, actually, wait. Having said that, I do think... There was one game I was waiting for a sale of for, for the longest time. And I think they did it for... Was it Cold War? I bought that, by the way. I played it, like, once. And I'm like, well... The spinning linebacker skill is good. There's also that one move where, like, you shoot a football, and then it, like, it, it has this ricochet effect between enemies. Thank you, Shaner. I'm so glad I added that Jungi edit as much as I could. What's the best jobs? Honestly, all of them. <laughs> Like, every single job is good. Um, 
And, and like, one of the reasons you can say that is because this is not, like, a single party member game. You have four people. So, you know, divide the roles. Have one person who has heals, have one person who, like, does damage, or multiple people who do damage, even. And maybe one buffer slash debuffer. And you're good to go. Da -da. Oh shit, I should have inherited the uh, skills. I'll go do that when I go back. Yeah, Pirate Dancer is awesome. Like the weapon choice and the animations. I put healing on everyone. Yeah, that's the good thing about this game. Eventually, you can just put a healing skill on everybody. Any skill, really. Action Star has one skill that always quits if you hit the action prompts. The shoulder one. That one is pretty good. Leon, are you a big fan of Jungi? Dot 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 dot. Like me. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like Freelancer is underrated. Yeah, it's good, but they actually kind of nerfed it in this game. I can't check this stuff. They took away... Uh... Actually, wait, did it not have two essence moves in uh, 7? They buffed Freelancer in this game. Like, R Ruffin's Kick, or whatever it's called. That, it's really good. Um, I think it's like a guaranteed crit, or like a high chance of crit. It's pretty good. Atomic Drop also, yeah. The Drop Kick is also really good. Like, insanely good. The only person who's not a fan of Jungi is the guy who got his face fried in Yakuza 6. And even that guy is forced to say that he likes Jungi because, you know, he, he's his boss. No weapons hurts Freelancer, but you know what else? Like, if you switch to Freelancer, you're gonna notice Freelancer gets an attack buff to make up for the, you know, no weapons. I wish I could show it right now, but I can't because we're in a forced fucking tutorial. It's been 22 minutes. Oh, well, Can you have DLC outfits during the story in New Game Plus outside of combat? Probably not. I'm gonna estimate this is gonna take like half an hour. A, a bit more than half an hour. 40 minutes maybe? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, 23 minutes. It's about to hit. There we go. Three hours, 23 minutes. Uh, 28, sorry. Okay. We were stuck for 23 minutes here. Um, and to top that off, they took away our decorations. Okay. Let me actually go back here. Chitisa already has a heal, so she doesn't need one. Hey Leon, you're gonna post boss videos. Yes. Okay. Wait, you guys can't see it. Don't believe me? Look at the fucking damage buff. <laughs> I think you just have to level uh, level the thing up, and then it'll be amazing. But yeah, keep in mind, that's without weapons. So, with Hero, right now, if I equip, like, the best weapon... It, 
we he, he can't see it. God damn it. Uh, it's still lower than freelancer. See, I can't fucking point. There we go. But I do think it should have had like a second uh, Kiwami move because I think it doesn't. Yeah, so there's a lot of, like, blunt attacks. There's uh, a grab. Two grabs, I think. And then, yeah, just one key one we move. So, yeah, overall, hero is definitely better for utility. Actually, wait. Uh, inheriting. Does Ichiban even need anything? Maybe blade attack? Oh, this one is really good. And maybe a gun skill, actually. Uh, where is it? Burning arrow, my beloved. Why are you using weaker weapons? So I don't demolish fights in one hit. Give or take. Um. Okay, do you guys think the fact that you can't inherit skills from Seiji Mansur is good or bad? I kind of wish you can. Because, like, that revive um, Kiwami move would be nice to have. But also, Seiji Mancer has a lot of OP skills. Mm. I don't even know if I need like a Kiwami move, honestly. Maybe a gun one. This ability. Goddamn. She would be really good with this, because like she's an agility fighter. So you answer a pretty good job. I like it. Wouldn't work. You need to equip a Sujimon for each type. I thought that too at first, but you know what convinced me otherwise? If you take a skill from any job, like say for example Samurai, you have a blade, right? They, well, they, they show you a blade when you use the skill, so they could do the same for Um uh, And lastly, there's a very important skill. Covers all allies' HP and removes status ailments. Bruh, give me that. Da -da 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 -da. Favorite party Ichiban, Kiryu, Sonhi, and Jungi, probably. Or you can replace Jungi with Saiko as well. Solo, Ichi, Suji Mansur playthrough. One day. Oh yeah, let's give a heal for Kiryu. Um, honestly, I don't know which one is the best. This one is an AoE heal. Um, this one is recovery over time. A lot of the heals are self-only. So I guess, yeah, just this one. No wait, he, uh, he's only missing a blade attack. I guess we can give him a uh, burning arrow as well. And he's good to go. Yo, KeyJX. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Yeah, well, we're gonna have the ultimate crossover. <laughs> do, 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 do. Did we face a boss in this chapter yet? No, we didn't. Uh, oh. Wait, what? I was gonna do the Yakuza 7 move. I go back to my phone to open up the taxi, and then I was like, oh, wait. I don't need to do that. This is Yakuza 8. You know, the epic game. And then there's the cringe game, Yakuza 7. If anyone actually took that seriously, I'm joking. <laughs> I love Yakuza 7 stuff. 
you have any idea why the title is Infinite Wealth? I have no idea. Not a single one. Guys, why is the game called Infinite Wealth? Look at this move. Bro? <laughs> why, why, like, why is it this powerful? Yeah, there's a money cap. Yeah, you guys all thought Infinite Wealth was about wealth, money. No, it's all about the friendships. Say it. chill, please. God damn. Okay, I think now we're heading into a story segment. Heavy Sludge, Margat, Afolish. You have any mods installed? Only two? Oh, the Yamai fight. Um, one of them makes a jump straight to the stock menu, and the other gets rid of doors and dungeons. How many hours do you have in the game? 220 something now. Is there a form of target drop in this game? Yeah, Kiryu has a... Uh, what was it again? The Komaki knockback? How much of that was grinding? 60 hours? Give or take. Can carry the target drop. He has a skill that has the target drop. Oh, stinky time. Yeah, I talked about I talked about that earlier, Mark. Champion is in. 
جيش والله يعتمد على اللعب اللي تلعبها انت Guys, do you think Yamai is stinky? Why else is he weak to water? There is the 97. Oh no. <laughs> Every time we look at this place now, we can't think of it the same way. Kill Shay. If the Tempi Shay, I mean, he works on the game, but it's not for the Audi. Yeah, 500, 400 dinar. لا الأداء ممتاز خل عدل كلامي الأداء بيكون أوكي ممتاز بس مو بالألعاب اللي توب توب بتقدر تشغل ألعاب اللي توب توب لكن يعني يمكن لازم تنزل بعض ال settings What do you think RGG can do to improve combat and gameplay for Yakuza 9 skill shortcuts <laughs> Skill shortcuts and like you know, if you if you're gonna add hard to skip or like impossible to skip segments, add like a skip uh, option for replays. أنا كنت أتكلم ألف. لو عندك ألف أوكي اشتري. أنا كان كان عبالي إن يمكن عندك ميزانية محدودة. For those wondering what the hell I'm saying, <laughs> I'm talking to somebody about uh, like a gaming PC. لحظة انت من بحرين مامبا عشان اتأكد بس عم بساعة قاعد اكلمك على اساس ان انت بحريني wall bounding for 9 technically there is wall bounding in this game so wait uh, that was Yamai let me save here Turn base juggling. When you get an opponent into the air, it goes into slow mo. And then you pick the move. Maybe there's an idea in there, actually, you know? Da -da 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 -da. Shit. Uh. And Rayart is smick, Mamba. Yo, Dev, how are you doing, buddy? Launch type moves, yeah. See? See? Oh, guys. You're geniuses. You guys probably just said, oh, juggling. But, like, had no idea how to make it work. But then, with the power of friendship in the chat, we came up with something. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... I think this is it actually. Yep. Wonk to time. I did not play Shadow, Shadow Hearts, no, but I heard a lot about it and how it's connected to Kadelka. Ah. Ah. Look at how gorgeous that place is. It's almost as gorgeous as you guys. Almost. But not quite. Yeah, Wonk 2 was absolutely wasted.
thinks this is the best dynamic intro in the whole game. The whole game. The whole goddamn game. Favorite still Dwight. Hell yeah! Look at all the diverse answers in chat. We got Dwight enjoyers, we got Yamai enjoyers, Wong To, Ebina, Bryce. Bryce is cheating. He has like three intros in one fight. <laughs> Same ghost. It's a shame about that, but you know, it's something. I gotta say, I really like how they have multiple inputs here. Even though, you know, they all lead to the same outcome if you fail them. We might have to do Kiwami attacks. What bat for Kasuga are you using? Um, I'll show it to you soon, if I remember. You know what's gonna be fucking hilarious? If New Game Plus in this game still takes less than Yakuza 5 New Game Plus. I'm actually curious, because like now we got rid of most of like the roadblocks. The uh, forest roadblocks. There's a couple coming, but like Dondoko is the biggest one. It took like 22 minutes, or 23 even. Yakuza 5 takes me anywhere between 8 to 9 hours. And I actually don't know if I have the strength for a 9 hour stream right now, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> exactly, Ghost. Fastest new game plus I managed was 5 hours and a half? Wait, wait a minute! That's actual professional speedrun pace. No way. Like, that's Froob levels of timing. Did you learn the route? <laughs> yeah, it is the world record, actually. Mm -hmm. 
I did unlock the casino at our, Yeah, I think you have to be Max. Personality? Holy I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You need to finish Dondoko for the casino outfit. That's such a weird requirement. Mm -hmm. What do you think the hunt... Um... Uh, that was on hard mode. Hmm. What do you think the 100% speed run for Yakuza 5 is? I have no idea, and I don't think I want to know. Um, there he is. Okay, you I hope I don't forget to make a separate save. I did fizz, yeah, like a couple times. I've been... Feels, it feels weird to say this, but... I've been holding back a lot up until this point, but I do wonder if, like, I go all in. How fast is it gonna take, you know? Or, sorry, how fast is it gonna be? Not how fast is it gonna take. I don't think that's a sentence. Alice, who is that on the left right now? And what what happens to him? <laughs> Actually, don't answer that. Okay, let me not save on that. The couch arc, yeah. Yeah, like boy. Yeah, don't do Kabeen carries over. You don't have to do it again. So that's one good thing. You also start with your permanent buffs from the other jobs. You don't have to, like, wait until you get the jobs. That's another really good thing. I think this is where Namba and Adachi show up. Oh, there they are, the boys. The scene was so good. Da, 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 da. What are you? What are you staring at? Oh no. Uh, I guess we can take that taxi. What if Wong To wanted to exist? But Yokoyama said, "Cutscene gun." Uh. Let me actually unlock the taxi here first. I think there is one up ahead. Oh, there we go. This is the bat that I'm using for that person asking. Supernova bat, maxed out. Now let me use the poop bat. Any poopers in chat? Oh yeah, actually I'm, I'm not gonna use Namba, I'm gonna use Adachi. Hmm, <laughs> I guess we can use this. Maybe that. Adachi's way too slow in this game. He is. And that's why I pumped him up with agility drinks um, in Premium Adventure. How do you install batteries for the Segway? 
You'll find them in the treasure pawn shops. There's three of them in total, I think. You like the Segway or the Skateboard better? The Skateboard is more fun to use. And the Segway also has a battery, so, you know. Oh, really, Phoenix? Okay, long battle incoming, so... Uh, let me heal, first of all. And then... Yamai time, Yamai, Yamai, baby. Uh, I thought she did have the arrest skill in seven, I think, but it was like very not reliable. Oh, God damn. How do you install them? They're automatically installed. You don't have to do anything, just buy them. Bro, Chidosa is murdering these guys. God damn. Look at that. <laughs> it would have been cool if for Legend, they actually switched the items you find here. Like, imagine, for example, you find boosters all over, like, a story dungeon, you know? That would be so cool. This is gonna do it again. Oh, not quite, actually. But Ichiban is gonna do it. Oh, not quite, actually. Komizawa is gonna do it. There we go. Yeah, like, up until like chapter 4 or 5, I've been using uh, uh, weaker weapons to kind of have a normal fight. But now I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. Just in case the game takes like nine hours, give or take. If I play the way I was playing. Yeah, Adrian, I know. Is she gonna do it again? Almost. The squid is level 100, that would be funny. Yeah. I heard Ebina is a 92. So maybe not. Is the shit bat actually better than the legendary hero bat? They have the same damage output, it's just the shit bat causes poison. And poison can be good in a boss fight. Like, it doesn't matter that much. Unless maybe you're on the level or something. But I think by the time you get the shit bat, you're gonna be pretty OP. Ninety-five, I see. Do you think a Kiwami 3 would be turn-based or brawler? <laughs> Absolutely brawler. It's not a Nichiban game. Do you have to do the birthday fight, or can you skip it? I'm gonna skip the cutscene anyway, so... Like, you know... Nice. Very cool. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Guys, do you think he was one of the people who betrayed Yamai? Or was he a real one? <laughs> birthday skip any percent, yeah. Oh no. MP! <laughs> Don't ruin his birthday. 
can blame chat for that one. Bloodthirsty sons of. How could you do this, chat? Yo, human. Wait, didn't I get the key? Oh, wait. Right, right, right. Oh, they didn't respawn this time. I guess it's time based. We can save before the boss fight, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough save points for the rest of the, like, the fights. Like, all of them, you know? I think we might. Now watch this giga chat. I don't know what you're... You know what? There goes this guy. <laughs> A rest is guaranteed if you if you land it. Like if you see the animation, then yeah, it's it's, it's done. Did I say motherfucker in the Japanese subtitles? I don't think he did, did he? That was a Yakuza 1 moment. <laughs> nice dodge, Tamizawa. How's the difficulty then? Well, I am over prepared for this, but I think like the balancing is done okay. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, the heal is not huge. Mm. I will never get over that he flew across the room. Yeah. What happens if you attack his counter stance? I don't think I ever saw what happens. Oh, sh. Haruka jump scare. Is this chapter 7? Yeah, okay. You ever gonna do a Tekken 8 ranked stream, Leon? I don't know, honestly. Mm. Is this Devil Leon 7? No. This is Devil Leon 8. How may I help you? Uh, let me save real quick. Arrest is actually very good in this fight. We're gonna do it to one of the mini bosses. Uh... Oh, Alright, I can't wait for Adachi to get his turn. Guys, watch this. <laughs> no fucking way, bro. And watch this again. Uh oh. <laughs> And that's all she wrote? <laughs> God damn. Why bother attacking if you can just do that? Um, would this even be a boss fight? It's not, is it? Like, I, I don't really think it is. It works on mini bosses, but not actual bosses. I don't know. I, I don't think that that fight was something I would like. You know, upload separately as a boss fight. It's more of a, it's more of just like a story fight, a normal one. Do you still get the XP from the enemies you arrest? Yeah, probably. Technically, you you know you see the uh, enemy just defeated, so. Yeah, I wonder if we can do it on Robo Michio, that fucker. I would be more than happy to do it. Oh shit, peak time. Let's go. Yeah, I should clip that video and just upload it. Actually. Okay. Honestly, we don't even need accessories. But, uh, you know, if I were to put something, then probably this. Uh. Oh, 
Who has a better house, Hinata or Ichi? Ichi, absolutely. <laughs> Nobody can beat Hinata in that one. Not yet, at least. Oh no. Here he is tripping. Um. Oh, that's a very specific setup, Marana. Zhao, Namba, Sonhi. Oh yeah, you're right. If I remember that. Uh. Oh, we can't use the taxi. God damn it. I feel like, honestly, you don't even need to do the drink links. Like, you don't need the combo attack. You don't need anything if you're leveled enough for, like, a legend replay. Like, it's it's just... You're so busted in this game. Or at least I am busted right now. Do you not keep combo attacks? No. So we keep the bond levels, but you have to do all the bond scenes again. Which, with skipping, you can do all of them in like... Five minutes. Honestly, not even. I don't know loud voices. I'm still not sure. That's why I decided to switch to like OP weapons to see if I can get it done by like I don't know, six hours maybe. But I don't know if that's possible. Probably not. Maybe seven hours. Is realistic. Kind of wish you can use the tanks here. Actually, <laughs> would have been nice if I remembered this like a couple of minutes ago. Is Kiryu the only party member that has above 3000 HP? He only has that much because I invested a lot in him. Okay, I'm gonna give them some heal skills. Uh... What else is she missing? Like, a water attack, I think? That's it. Namp already has a heal, but it also causes you to be drunk, so I'll take that, and that maybe. Oh yeah, thank you, loud voices. Forgot about that. Uh, in case we need that. Some Someone made an attempt to do a no damage infinite wealth run and they actually did it. Yeah, not really surprised. <laughs> we did it, guys! Like it's nothing. Did you see those moves? <sighs> Th 
thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, Galaxy, I know. Actually, I should have given her one more move, the uh, uh, Shadow Clone one. I forgot pound mates exist actually, thank you for reminding me about that. Okay. Uh Ichiban's praise for Kiryu is really awkward when I have no idea how Ichiban knows him. I would have understood that more if he talked about the other party members, but Ichiban, I feel like, saw enough of him. He got his ass kicked by this legendary Yakuza, you know? I feel like that's enough of a reason to respect him. Um, this game does something that Yakuza 0 did, where, you know, you don't actually see when Kiri and Majima first met, but they do know each other. What stats do the golden underwear give? It's like 99 defense and 99 willpower. It's like the highest uh, generic defense uh, item, if that makes sense. But I use the uh, personalized armors because th those have extra effects. Even though they have less defense. Okay, I don't think this is the fight part, is it? This is the visit. Yeah, I do think Kamurocho was missing like something like a battle arena or a dungeon. Like the Millennium Tower. Willpower is magic defense. Purgatory just non-existent post five, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I don't know. The florist and his land vanished into America or something. This is the grave part, I think. Yeah. Always thought it was implied that Kiryu and Majima, that was Kiryu's Majima's first meeting, but never thought about the last scene that way. Yeah, like, it's probably easier to miss than, you know, uh, this example in this game, but I do think it's the same case. Because, like, Majima heard about Kiryu's name, but not how he looks like. And as soon as he sees Kiryu in that scene, he's like, Yo, Kiryu! Kiryu-chan! And, and Kiryu also smiled, like... Why would he smile if he doesn't know him? What's the next boss for Kiryu? Is it Sawashiro? I can't remember if Sawashiro is first or... The... No wait, is it the Tojo client fight? Hot take, but the weakest thing about Zero is linking back the Yakuza 1. That's always a thing with prequels, like... They might have, you know, consistency problems like that. Oh yeah, we might as well make a save before Ammon, too.
Maybe they searched Sarah's body and they, they had a picture of him? No. <laughs> that was not a thing. And hell, like, during all of those events, too, when they found the real estate part, um, Majima's like, oh, who's this Kiryu guy? Like, that was the last of his concerns at the time. I don't want to do that fight. None. Let me save here. Okay. Let's see how it goes. See. Oh, we should be able to hear it for much longer this time. Ninety-five. God damn. Is he weak to anything? Wait, does he have the generic English voice? Is that just the Chinese dub thing? He did speak English, yeah. <laughs> Man, they care so little about Amon in this game. It's kind of... Well... Maybe not so little since he was literally put in the story, but like, come on. Not the right model and like... <laughs> whoa. Why, why is he speaking English here? Actually, I'll debuff the guy. This debuff of Namba is so good. Too late to dodge, buddy. Holy damage, god damn. Look, it's Kenshiro. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> uh... How hard has it been so far? Not hard. But then again, I got everybody to like 99 on every single go. Ooh, okay, goddamn. Nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy damage, dude. Yeah, Jewel Breaker is amazing. Like it's had trauma levels of good. Honestly, I think that. This would have been the perfect chance to give you like an ex um, a new game plus um, specific item. 
like you know, I don't know, like an Ammon class, and it, like it does something. Um, just anything that's unique to it, you know. I'm assuming we're gonna lose still. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh. Hope you're ready to die. Well, hope you're ready to die. All things considered, I do kind of like that you can actually win the fight in New Game Plus. That's cool. But they could have made it way cooler by, you know, again, giving you something special. Um... Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Bravery. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, an upgrade to Eye of the Dragon. So, like, like, see, something like that. Anything, really, anything. Just something special to it. That would have been so cool. Actually, oh shit. How about this, guys? Ammon's glasses, okay? With me so far? Oh no. The effect. Unlimited Dragon's Resurgence. Eh? God, what a missed opportunity, man. That would be busted, yeah, but like, you know, you're doing New Game Plus. And it's like a fun reward, if anything. So just like, why the hell not? Oh, this is the chapter in for Kiryu, I think, right? Yeah, that would have been uh, a nice um, incentive for that to death rage. Like it's nothing. Oh, oh, guys, I can't look at this. How could they do this? How could they do this to my boy? Okay, uh, that was the Ammon fight. Damn, we're in chapter 9 already, huh? Hard-headed woman. Out for blood. Oh god, not this segment. <laughs> this is actually a certified Yakuza 1 and 2 moment. OG Yakuza 1 and 2. And Kiwami, actually. Where you straight up just have forced fights. Now, thankfully, I'm OP as fuck in this, so, uh. You know what's gonna happen, boys. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, let me use the subway uh, Segway or Subway Surfer or... Wait, did I fucking say Subway Surfer? <laughs> the Street Surfer, not the... You know what? Never mind. Sometimes you just have days where you can't fucking speak. You know what? That's fine. actually pretty handy here for now at least what are you staring at uh, yeah rubbery subway surfers walk through at 100k subs would you like that guys Or maybe a Yakuza stream with Subway Surfers in the, in the corner. 
for the 100k special. What you looking at? What you looking at? Oh. oh no. Man, the subway surfer is really good here. What the hell? I'm glad I got it. It's not a show, shithead. Put Yakuza in the corner of anything and I'd watch. <laughs> Noted. Hey, maybe if I stream something non Yakuza related, I'll do that. So the Yakuza viewers would still join. Is this your favorite Yakuza game now or now? It's up there. It's up there. The fact that this game has playable Junki and playable Sony alone, like, man, you know, you know. I feel like I could easily do a thousand hours in this game. Same. Maybe 500, <laughs> but like, eventually, yeah, probably a thousand, I don't know. Sweet. This is actually not so bad of a segment. Oh, God, fucking... I'm actually surprised, because I already saw people... Who are already waiting for Yakuza 9, and I'm like, dude, did, did we play the same game? There's so much to do, and like, I'm still not done with it. And like, yeah, I know I'm a content creator, but even if I wasn't, I would still be grinding for Legend. Like, you know, every job for level 99 and all that. <laughs> Like, I've seen people talk about how the story just came and went. And like, yeah, fair enough. Maybe the story did just come and go. But like, what about the gameplay, you know? <laughs> There's a whole fucking game to play. Please put Jungi in the corner, should we? Alright, tag move time. I kinda wish you still kept this from the get go. How's the poop bad? Pretty good. The toilet baseball bat is pretty good. Okay, we definitely want to save here. Or do we? Okay. That fight with the Amai, like, when he's with you... Actually, yeah, we, we do want to save here, we do. Because right after that, there's a Yamai boss battle. But that fight where you're... You know, alongside Yamai... That is not a boss... Yeah, that's not a boss fight. But man, it has such a cool sequence, though. God damn it. Feels bad. Uh... How do you do the tag team with every character like in the trailers? I'm actually wondering about that. Was it that just like a marketing thing? Or can you do it? Mm. 
You could add it in the My Boss Fight video. Yeah, maybe we could add it at some point. Like the beginning. Like, it kicks off with that and then you get into the fight. Maybe. Um... What what is Adachi's best job? I'm gonna show you. You can't get away from me. Okay, this is not the best place to use it, but probably the default job because look at this. This works up to many bosses. Like, you know, a boss, but like not a story boss. Uh oh, well, no, let me rephrase that. Like, for example, not on Yamai, but like a tough dog, for example, with like a shiny HP bar. Even if they're at full HP, it's gonna work. So that saves you a lot of trouble. <laughs> Oh shit. Something I noticed, by the way, about the fight after this, they replenish all of your HP and MP, as they should. But imagine if they didn't. Gotta level up. Detective is pretty good in this game, in my opinion. Like, I didn't know Arrest was good until my friend told me about it. Damn it! And that just makes the job so much better. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Thank <sighs> you, <sighs> 我和你们已经讲和了 真是糟透了。不过，我们必须赶在他们前面，把倩女士和拉妮给找出来。那真是苦了你们了。所以我们现在需要更多的伙伴。你要是愿意帮忙，我们就更有底气了。怎么样？啊？哦，我也承认啊
，你没胆量和布莱斯对着干。喂，一帆，你说什么？我们一早啊！你这小子说我们老爹会怕谁 ？OK， 好无聊的挑衅。之前说你幽默，是我演过了。Let's do this. Yeah, this fight can be rough. Imagine if a rest worked here. <laughs> oh, Adachi. Ichiban, please, God damn. Uh, let's watch it this time, shall we? What do we think of Chinese Akiyama? I did hear English of Yama, yeah. I get why people hate it, but also, I don't think it's the worst. Look at that XP, god damn. Yeah, scrub down is insane. How old is Yamai supposed to be? Probably older than Ichiban, but like I don't know by how much. What? You got a problem? Gonna cut your vacation short. Hey, how does he know I'm on vacation? Okay, I don't remember if this leads to anything, so I'm just gonna save. Uh... Oh, tenth lady, take a million dollars, god damn it. Okay, now what? Oh yeah, now we go to the boat, I think, right? Soon. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, do you fight the shark alone? Or... No, wait, the Dwight fight comes oh. first. What's better, poop bath or electric bath in terms of combat usage? Um, if you're not way over leveled, the poop bath probably. But if you're like 99 at everything, it doesn't matter. Just under 50, I see. I laughed at this point in my playthrough because they were acting like $10,000 was way more than we had. You know, between this and the first bribe you have to give, they probably did all of this just to, like, not discourage the players. Like, imagine if you, for example, had to give a million dollars. Players would be like, alright, fuck this game, <laughs> you know? So I, I kind of like that they had lower requirements for that. Um... Because there are people who actually had a problem with Yakuza 7 with, uh, because of that. The 3 million yen grind. The safe house. Ah. Oh shit, this is the safe house scene, right? Oh boy. Oh guys, you don't need to see this. Cover your eyes, please. Nobody needs to see this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Chapter 10 already, huh? We didn't even hit 5 hours yet. Back to Kiryu. So wait, this is gonna be probably the Sawashiro fight? Or soonish? Yeah, Galaxy. Oh, Hano was dead? Let me add him to my bucket list. Memory. Yeah, ghost. Oh, this scene is so good, man. It actually, like, man, they... Whenever you, re you reunite with a party member in this game, it truly does feel like a reunion. Like, between the player and the characters, too, you know? Like, oh, guys, it's been so long. How are you doing? How are you doing, guys? I missed you. Bon voyage. Hey, buddy. Oh. Yeah, and then Jungi's like, I guess I'm swimming to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. God, I'm so glad I don't have to level up the bonds again. Um. Uh, Namba, sorry, but. Oh, the dungeon, right. <laughs> I find it kind of weird how they gave Zhao to Kiryu and not Jungi. That would have been really nice, yeah. Like, I would have liked to see Kiryu and Jungi interact rather than Ichiban and Jungi. 
way. Uh. Yo. But also, maybe they just they don't want us to have both of the comedial party members in one party. Oh shit, chat! Here we go. <laughs> Rail, around, oh no. Rail, around, oh no. Around, oh no. <laughs> How are we feeling? Rail, around, oh no. Oh shit, not. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see how much he gives. This is the one that gives you character XP, so let's see. Can you turn on the radio? No. <laughs> We're not gonna be staying here for a while, it's okay. You guys can handle it, right? For me? For your good little YouTuber? 12 million! Alright. No doors, yeah, I'm using that mod. <laughs> Okay, so we can exit here. I'm glad about that, honestly. Yeah, there's a no doors mod. Pretty good mod, if I do say so myself. Did so I should die? Probably not. They must have known when they brought this back. Oh, they did, yeah. <laughs> Especially since they used it for the very first dungeon. They knew. They absolutely knew. Okay. Let's do this. Peak time. Here's a video idea. Show people how to mod. I'm pretty sure there's probably videos on that already. It's really not difficult, honestly. Um, a lot of the mods give you inst instructions as well. Make sure not to kill him fast so you can see his ultimate move. Wait, which ultimate move? Is it new? What is your opinion about Tim as Daigo and... Um, I don't have a strong opinion, but Daigo seemed weird. Um, so, um, so I should was okay. But not the best, I think. Kiryu just dodged that box, we wouldn't be in this situation. Actually, I'll have Kiryu focus on him. But no, no, Kiryu! Kiryu! Please! Yeah. <laughs> 
Holy, okay. Uh, okay, nice. <laughs> Wait, that was kind of pointless. God damn it. Damn, the guy's not getting any turns. <laughs> You know what? God damn. This is such a banger victory theme. Do you think Kiri will be playable in Yakuza 9? Anything is possible. Anything! Even bringing back Shinara and Tanimura. Believe it or not. Looking forward to that fight in this difficulty. Okay. 
Chapter 11, god damn. Man, yeah, Daigo should have had a gun move. Who's with me? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Pulls up like uh, dual pistols even. And goes pow 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 pow. And it's like an AOE attack too. Oh, Yeah, Daigo could have destroyed this if he wanted to, but he didn't use guns, so be thankful. Daigo with Roman's move set, yeah. <laughs> Uh, imagine. Oh, not the safe house. Dude, I can't look at the word safe house the same way anymore. That fucking safe house was anything but safe. <laughs> it's just house, without the safe part. House, that, that's it. Bruh. Wait, oh. Bon voyage house, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How could they? I don't think there's a fight here, is there? Hold on, officer. Okay, this club fight is not a boss fight, so no need to save here. Actually, the chapter ends after this, doesn't it? I think. Hold on, officer. But just in case, we save. What are you looking at? Shut up. This is the Club Deborah of Hawaii. This would have been a perfect place to use Barracuda, I think. Because all of these guys are just Barracuda members. Sweet, dude. Sweet! How do you find enough gold feces to craft the bats? Uh, there's a guy on YouTube, actually. Um, I kind of... I tried to make use of it, but I, I didn't even watch the thing. Like, I skimmed through it. But I think it'll have it everything needed. <laughs> Guys, remember this scene? And, like, <laughs> remember how we thought we are gonna see Eiji again? <laughs> oh, that was a- that was a wild part. And then he was never seen again until the ending. Isn't there an, a taxi here? Actually, wait, where? Oh, I'm here, okay. Da, da, da. Club Deborah was the arcade club, right? No, no, no. Uh, they had a different one. Club Deborah is the one that Bloody Eye is in, and Yakuza one. You also fight the Atobe family. 
in there. Uh, the one, um, the, the scene with uh, Takashi, the florist's son. Oh shit, let me save. Uh, okay, now... This is definitely a story dungeon, so let's do this. Actually, wait, does she say have... Did she reset her gear? I hope not. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Akai Brothers Club as well. Got him. Actually, should I even include this fight in the dungeon? Because technically it's not inside, you know? So maybe not. Yeah, maybe it's gonna start here. What do you guys think? Oh no. The evil Yamai boys. Yeah, I am using the Chinese dub. I don't think that Jima fight will pose a threat. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Look at my level and the job level too. Levels, rather. Hold on, officer! That might actually be my favorite line in that scene. <laughs> Bro was on to something, you know? Hold on, officer. Yes, Summon Commander. Actually, guys, wait, 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 wait. You know the fight that's coming up, the poison room? Should that be included with a long fight video, or should that be separated as a boss video? Because I think that does qualify as a boss video. If you ask me. Like, there's a QTE. And, like, the goon has a relatively unique design. But, like, we could also just keep it with a long fight. So, I don't know. I think because it's at the very end, we could separate it. What were they weak to again? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think it could work as both, honestly. Because I used to do that a lot for, like, you know, multiple games. Where at the end of the long fight, I stop there and I um, make that final fight a boss video. They sound so funny in Chinese, I understand them. Are you Chinese or do you just speak the language? Out of curiosity. If you're Chinese, do you think like the voice acting is good or no? <laughs> Look at that damage. I speak the language, okay. Almost there. Big damage. Twenty three million XP. God damn. Favorite boss fight in Infinite Wealth. Um, I feel like it's, I should, like, say one of the final fights, but honestly, it might be the Shark Dwight fight. Hmm? Ah. What about you guys?
guys, what, what do you think of Tamizawa's plan here? I did it, Rina. Squid. Oh yeah, the squid was a great fight too. Which main antagonist has the best development in all the franchise? I would argue Nishiki. What about you guys? Shishito is also really up there. That's a good question, Marana. Bro, this fucking Kiwami move is hilarious. <laughs> look at look, look at the goofy ass running animation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Just something about the way he points at the bomb, like, oh no, a bomb! I'm gonna help you guys! <laughs> If I remember right, um, if you don't beat the, the the guys downstairs fast enough, it just happens in a cutscene. We can like we can try to find out. <laughs> Almost there. Adachi is 63 in this game. You literally can't beat the guy. Okay. Yeah, you have to beat them downstairs. You would really have to go out of your way to do that anyway, so... Uh... Favorite generic job essence. Essence of High Noon. Hmm. I actually don't know if I saw all of them. I don't know. Dolphin Dive. Actually, hold on, let me take a look real quick. Suji Mancer has really cool looking ones, but this is not a generic job. Mm. I think the action star ones are really cool. But like, I don't remember which one is which. It's been a while since I saw them. I might go with the action star ones. The Suji Mansu even good, because I heard it's bad. It's good, but you need to like, work for it. Because like, the job has almost everything. Uh, heals, revives, for multi uh, multiple pa party members even. Uh, fire moves, water moves. Electric moves, poison, um, 
heals over time, instant heals. It has like everything. I guess we can save here. Wait, this fight plays Barracuda, right? I'm gonna yes! Fuck yeah, dude, hell yeah. Guys, you want to see a life hack? Watch this. Actually, should I? I love this song. I don't want it to end fast. Now we have quite a bit left. Oh no. Oh no, never mind. No life hack. Probably not, Marona. This is my favorite goons fight. I know, right? It goes so hard for being just a bunch of nobodies. It actually reminds me of that one fight in Lost Judgment. You know, the one with the dynamic intro at the very end? Oh, maybe it just doesn't work on this guy. I wonder. I'm actually determined. I want to keep trying. Wait, 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 wait. Just realized. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work on him, actually. It probably just doesn't, yeah. Oh no, that die goes special. Uh, she does say. <laughs> Casually walks towards the guy. Yeah, resource, he probably is. Oh yeah, this this Kiwami move is so cool, actually. Look, he's old, they say. Look at this guy! <laughs> Here we go, poison time! I love how this song keeps playing, by the way. I can't see shit! Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Go Adachi, hell yeah. God damn. <laughs> why does a random goon have this? <laughs> Tell me, why? By the way, not complaining. I love this, actually. The suplex, hell yeah. The Majima special? God damn. I actually completely forgot that AG shows up here. Thirty-one million XP. God damn. Yeah, cutl uh, cutlery slash is really good. Hey, Leon, chat. What's the recommended level for the big swell? If you, uh, I think it's fifty-five. It starts at fifty-five. Okay, now let's save here. Chapter 12. By the way, like if we finish this at like 7 hours or so, for example. Keep in mind that we actually kept, you know, a lot of cutscenes as you've seen. And there's a lot of fights where we <clears throat> held back. So can you imagine if like we did a marathon and I tried to speed through things? By the way, here comes another filler bit. I wish they didn't have this, but... Still faster than Yakuza 5, yeah. <laughs> At least for now. Let's go. Let's go. I actually just realized, is Kamurocho... Yeah, it has a unique inv uh, background, right? Or am I tripping? True, Toa. The sink? Do you see that? With the button press thing. That skybox is so cool. Oh, 
Let's -a go. I love how right after we finish the fight, we're just in the sub story. Country road. It's -a me, Mario. Okie dokie. Mamma mia. Here we go. Mario. Oh, give me that shit, hell yeah. Round and I didn't, yo. I just randomly thought of it. <laughs> and I remembered how much of a banger it, w it was, or it, it is, rather. Without the past tense. Okay, I think we still have, like, a cabaret thing, right? As a filler. Yeah, yeah, we do. Kiryu, you know you don't have to do this, right? What's your opinion about the H1 and Psycho romance story? I like that they wanted to make... A romance cannon, but I think they could have handled it slightly better, maybe. It's not something I'm overly upset about, though. Do you think Kiri should have had a second job? Yes! Um, he should have had the agent stuff as a job. But that also goes to show, or like, it, it's like further, uh... I don't know what's the word. Further proof that this was made after or before Gaiden. And they just didn't have the time, probably. <laughs> Country Road. Nice. Let's -a go. In my opinion, like the psycho and each one subplots was not like a big focus, if you ask me. Like, yeah, it happened, it, like, it caused some things to happen in the beginning, but, like, that's about it. Um. Actually, wait. Uh. Mm. Oh, wait, this is this fight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking of the Toja clan. Oh, shit. At least it didn't end like Kiryu's romances. True. Oh, no. Can I just say how much I love this scene? Just Kiryu being an asshole, and then Daigo's like, Yeah, what the fuck do you know, you asshole? <laughs> do you have any idea what we've been through? There's a lot of things that this game does that I think was long overdue. Like this, for example. Them calling Kiryu out on his bullshit. I love that so much. I do. I really love it. Like, it's about fucking time, you know? Um, and then you also have Ebina calling Kiri out on some things. Like, something like always returning <laughs> when, like, he keeps saying, Okay, guys, I'm done for real. <laughs> I love stuff like that. That's some of, some of my favorite stuff about this game. Okay, let's do this. Huh? 
Level 90? God damn. Uh, the Chinese dub is good. Yeah, Ghost. Kiryu gets called out a lot in this game about a lot of things. Now, how much damage is that gonna do? <laughs> Did I go taking the, the most damage? What? what? Saijima, when did he get down? What? <laughs> Bruh! Uh, Saijima's like, yeah, what the fuck do I have to do with this? Um. Oh, this is oh, this is perfect. I can weaken everybody. Ooh, spicy. People told me this scene goes better if you fail it, and I do see it, honestly. What about you guys? Yo, my boy! Yo, yo! Oh, hell yeah! Go, son, he! Go, number! With the umbrella save! <laughs> You know, this scene might as well be a dynamic intro. For this reason, I don't mind that the fight didn't get like a super flashy one. This cutie is so good. If anything, I'm kind of sad that the party members got to shine so much here, but then Abina just like beats the shit out of everyone <laughs> in the intro, you know? Oh, hell yeah, Kiryu. I just noticed, actually not just now, I noticed the uh, instance before this, but did you guys see how like when she does the knee attack to the, to the head? The enemy's head highlights like the brain damage. That is so fucking cool. Little detail, you know? I'm gonna do it again so you guys see it. Okay, okay, guys, pay attention. Look at the enemy's head. Yeah, it's like the Mortal Kombat X-Ray. Watch, when she does the knee... Boom! I think it's Daigo's time to go. But just to make sure. 
Man, Zhao does not have a grapple. Feels bad. This might work, though. Oh, does it, Oreo? I'm actually curious to see how that looks like. He did the move a little late. Nice. I'll take that, though. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Did you guys see the lag? What the hell was that? They didn't appreciate that. I didn't press it. Look at all the memories. The beautiful, beautiful memories. Uh, look at the Yakuza 4 up there. Look! Another Yakuza 4 flashback. Oh, it's gone. When they made the Saijima family. <laughs> God, this blew my mind when I first saw it, like, such a cool uh, thing. Let's see... That family never existed. <laughs> Okay, I think it's uh, Majima's turn in a bit. Here we go! You know what I just thought of? I can't pause, goddammit. But they have guidance screenshots here, so like... I don't know, I feel like they could have fixed some of the guidance inconsistencies, you know? Saijim is not having a good time. <laughs> uh oh. Saika, watch out! Holy! I want to use the Kiwami move, but maybe like when he's almost dead. 
Let's heal everybody. Yo, man, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Almost there. Okay. Now we just wait, <coughs> playing my legend run, and the first enemy is like the first boss, died in the tutorial. Are you level 75? Make sure you're 75 plus. Massive fire, baby. Look, the start of the Saijima family back there. Oh, there it is again. There it is again. Look! <laughs> they sure are showing the Saijima family scene a lot. What a fight. I wonder if I'm gonna hit level 99 in this playthrough, or if it's gonna take one more. Yo, Pharaonix, no problem, buddy. Oh. I trying to max out all the jobs. I already did that. I just need to max out the characters now. Okay, guys, this is it. Another banger scene. But hold on. Did 
I'll be back real quick. Enjoy the V2 recession. Dongcheng 我认为那是历史性的污点他这样说应该只是因为必须配合海老明不过他说的时候心里在想什么呀明明真实的目的是想继承荒川先生的遗志可能这才是 can we all agree Just how pretty this game looks Do you just grind the big swallow for the max levels? Yes, it took a while for me um, so the way that I did it, I grinded every job to 86, and then I switched to the other job. Um, rinse and repeat until you get enough to, like, level up, uh, the jobs to 99 from skill books using the, uh, points. Basically that. It took me, like, 60 hours, though. Honestly, like, you don't need to do that, but I was crazy, and I was determined to get, like, job level 99 on everything before I went to Legend. But, like, I think you're supposed to move on to Legend and grind the rest over there. So if you're level 75 right now, maybe get some, like... At the bare minimum, get every job to level 30, so you can inherit all the skills. And then move on to, uh... Um, Legend. Yo, Ho Joe, how are you doing? Oh. Okay, we gotta speed it up, guys. I wanna see if we can beat this game by seven hours, but I don't know at this point. Because, like, we still have a couple of dungeons left. Three, at least, actually. Yeah, like, maybe take one job to level 90 plus, or 99, the rest just 30, and then move on move on to Legend. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a good idea to do that, uh, do that. I should restore MP for uh, Sonhi. Look, it's fake Shindo. Oh, 
I'm not sure, Tata. This is another example of a random goon just having a QT that goes hard. And I'm here for it. Didn't they say there was going to be new episodes of scenes in New Game Plus? Uh, they were talking about the Big Swell, which is not related to the story at all. It's like a DLC dungeon, basically. You can only do it in Premium Adventure. Second of speed star, yeah. I don't think I need this, but yeah, let me just get it again. Okay. I'm gonna make a separate save for this fight. Uh, so that's the Tojo, and the uh, boom. I think when Narasaki mentions memory lane, he's just talking about the Tojo. Like the just the location. No, oh, God damn it. Yeah, I love that they mentioned the flower pot before, and like it was foreshadowing for this. <laughs> for a second I thought I was playing on Xbox. That's why it took me a bit to push that button. Yeah, 
Here we go. Yeah, meet the heavy from TF2. Bro thinks he's Sephiroth. Oreo, buddy, please. <laughs> it's pretty good, Hagrid. I'm having fun. Look at the size of that thing! Oh yeah, there's a bug that resets the theme here again and again. Hope you guys like hearing the first five seconds again and again. Yeah, someone told me about this uh, in my first playthrough. Sweaty yell. We got him. Yeah, that's a bug just for this fight. Okay, uh... I'm actually really glad that, that I think we have more than enough slots for all the story fights. Because that was a problem with some of the previous games, I think, like Yakuza 7. The Seiryu clan could only afford to have the first five seconds, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you have uh, the Lumong with uh, Warmaker. Absolute banger. They went all out with that budget for that song. Guys, watch this. Oh, I thought they were all gonna die. <laughs> I hope you guys were not watching. Can you arrest Takada? Good question. Probably, yeah. He doesn't have a boss or mini boss HP bar. The menacing walk. <laughs> and boom. Oh yeah, this is another segment where we have to avoid enemies. Nice. Hey, what are you planking at? Is there something in my face? Run from Bryce's men. All right. Uh, 
I'm running, all right. Hold on, officer. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, we have to go through there. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Honestly, I thought these parts would be way more annoying, but surprisingly, they're not. The Segway really does wonders here. What are you staring at? Now imagine if he couldn't use the Segway in this part. That would have fucking sucked. Out of curiosity, guys, um... Yeah, Ghost, I wish there was one. Out of curiosity, you guys, would you like a Yakuza 1 and 2 HD stream someday? A return to that, uh, like, remaster? Oh, no. The uptime command has always been broken for me. I tried to fix it with the stream uh, streamlabs, but there are some blocks that just make no sense. Like, why is this blocked? You know, you have to go a very specific road. I'm actually surprised I managed to. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind! Spoke too soon. This cruising thing is useless. It's actually pretty good for this segment. standard edition this thing has a ba small battery it's not this the battery is not DLC you can get it from uh, the treasure pawn shops and who are you wait you have to I guess you can go through here I don't know but I'm gonna go through there what are you looking at 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 what are you, what are you? oh my god dude. shut the fuck up in the best way possible What's with you? Jungi time. Jungi. Isn't this the chapter before the last? It is, right? Alright, sorry Adachi. I know you have a rest, but I'll take Jungi over that. Who is this man? <laughs> hey, come on. 
round. Actually, wait. No shoes. <laughs> Normally, Adachi is pretty slow, but I pumped a lot of uh, agility drinks into him. So he's not that bad, actually. Which Jungi do you like more, Leon? People asked me about that before. I mean, overall, we've seen more of this Jungi. And, like, he's more of a cutie pie, so... <laughs> I'll go for this one. But I really love the one in 6 as well. He had this charisma to him that... Uh, this one doesn't, but, like... This one has a different kind of charisma. He's just adorable. Can I just say I... Do you love that we go shopping for him? And like we see it. It feels like something we would see in the big swell. Yo, Max, how you doing? Yeah, I think Linebacker has higher agility than Adachi's um, base job. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me do the first uh, drink link for the guys. It won't take long. And that way we can do a full, you know, all-out attack. That's gonna deal a shit ton of damage. There we go! Like, honestly, we don't even need the combo attacks. We're doing very well without them. Okay, I guess we can do it for Adachi, even though we're not going to use him. But hey, maybe we are going to use him. Uh, nice, Ricky. Uh, what do we need to do again? Oh, the ducks. It's the white time. Uh, this Jungi doesn't have a trauma, so mine is Jungi from 7. God damn. Hey, you there. I should have replenished my uh, HP and stuff, but... Wait, uh, we didn't have... Yeah, we can save here. What's your opinion on... Don't think you can run. The thing is, I don't know if that policy is actually real or not, but I've been told by people it is, so I don't know. I think if a person is qualified to voice a character, then that's, that's more than enough. Look at everybody. Everyone is 97 except Jungi. What the hell you want? I think it was a take of Pro ZD. Yeah, I heard about that. He's the one who started that movement, and then when he realized he couldn't voice white characters, he's like, "No, guys, wait!" They should have played Barracuda here, man. Okay. 
進行Yeah, same, Randy. I think he deleted his complaint tweet. I'm not surprised. Because that just makes him seem like a hypocrite. And like, hey, I'm actually, I'm all for like, you know, people changing for the better. Like, I don't... I prefer not to hold something against people, but like, that that is... That's something he said very loudly, you know? As a grown-ass person. And it wasn't like a spur of the moment thing as well, it's like a, a whole movement. I'm gonna put you in the plane! Yeah, resource. That's a pretty good summon. I love it. Man, you know, I never realized it until Froob said it, but like... Why does it go from normal to bronze to... <laughs> platinum? <laughs> Where's the silver and the uh, gold borders? What you looking at? You what you looking at? I actually don't remember the summons in um, 7. Did they have like tiers as well? I don't think they did, did they? Or actually. Yeah, I'm not sure anymore. What's your favorite long bell in the franchise, Leon? Some of the show shithead. I was gonna say the rain uh, long battle. Uh, uh, the last Majibon from Yaku Zero. But now? I think the last one for Kiryu in this game might be the one. What about you guys? Yeah, Ghost. I'm so glad they're useful here. We need a pink hangman and a purple one. This is gonna be controversial, but I like the Kiwami 1, 1 long battle theme. I think people like that one in general. Like, it's one of the more liked tracks in Kiwami 1. Didn't think you'd make it this far. Look, another goon just getting a dynamic intro out of nowhere. <laughs> Now, what is this guy weak to? Guns. Hmm. Burning arrow, baby. Oh, 
完美，状态不错。I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe New Game Plus in this game is gonna take me less than Yakuza 5. The thing about Yakuza 5, I feel like New Game Plus doesn't even make much of a difference. Because, like, it doesn't take much for you to be, you know, decent in that game. But then, you know. Okay, Dwight time. Okay, Dwight time. Okay, let's make a save for this. Is this the easiest legend mode? No. I mean, I'm 99 in every job, so I don't know if I can say. Banger alert! I love this Kiwami move so much, dude. It's so good, dude. Look at this. Jungi becomes a horror movie. How is she to say higher level than Ichiban? It's because of a very specific reason, actually. When I was doing the grinding, I gave her uh, um, a character XP booster. Because I fin I was finished with her, you know, before I was finished with Ichiban. She has less jobs to go through. Fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> you should get the XP booster for Junkie. The way I'm planning to use it now is once uh, Ichiban is level 98. I'll use it on him. How do I kind of get afraid? <laughs> I don't think it works on every boss.
Wait, what? How, what? How did that miss? Oh no. God damn bucket was empty this time, yeah. <laughs> What's your opinion on Yongye shitting and Chris Pratt for voicing Mario? Honestly, I'm past the point of caring about that. You know, it's stuff like that. I actually hate how people hold stuff against, well, people. For the dumbest reasons, and like, it's almost as if they committed a crime and they can never change and move on from that. Like, you're not really any better, let's be honest. Everybody falls into a, like, a hypocritical situation eventually. It's uh, a very human nature. Oh, but Leon, I'm better than him. Are you? <laughs> if you're holding on to something like that for so long, then are you really a better person? Okay, this is gonna be the shark fight with uh, Dwight, I think, right? I'm gonna save it here. Yeah, if you have to mention that you're better than somebody, then chances are you're not. Okay. Banger alert again! Look at the sharks in the background. Try to get Dwight eaten by the shark as much as possible. I'll do what I can. The shark is waiting. Meal time. This background looks so gorgeous. Look at it. God damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't white, but that works. Uh oh. Shark! Oh no. Lurking. It's chat! Here we go. Yeah, ghost. I love it. This QTE goes hard too. <laughs> oh shit! No! No! Looks like Danny's winning this one, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he gets a moment to shine at least. I'll take it. Is 
Is that not close enough for the shark? I guess not. Yeah, imagine if that QT was an instant uh, KO if you fail it. I should probably heal the party. There we go. Oh, it didn't work actually. Oh no! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I like that he has a move dedicated to that, by the way. Oh wow, he just... He keeps on bringing them, okay. I'm trying to push him to the sharks, but... Shark! God damn it. I think he has to be knocked down. Hey, that works. Bye bye. 98, there we go. <laughs> I like that uh, the jewelry has uh, sounds. Jungi left the party. <laughs> nice, dude. Um. Okay. First 99 goes to Ichi. More filler. I'll take this over the fucking forced Porshine uh, bucket list memory. And the one to meet your girl as well. No, ghost. That's a curious special. Final chapter already. If I can dream. Six hours and a half in. I think we could have shortened this down to six hours easily. Maybe a little more even. If we uh, try to be faster. Yeah. 
I kept a lot of stuff, mind you. <laughs> At least I would say I did keep a lot of stuff. This could have been shortened down by quite a bit. We can't skip that one cutscene, right? Wait, which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the outfit change, I mean? Hold up. Sure, we can keep it. It's not that long. When is that? Tomizawa's drip uh, and Kamurocha looks like... Tony from GTA. I think I know who you're talking about. Is this it? It is. A Nishiki moment, but with Kiryu, kinda. Just the hair pulling. Dude. I'm pretty sure we can just skip to the uh, like last dungeons from here. The point of no return. All right. I think we're all set. And yeah, we just we can just go there. Yeah, that was such a cool scene. It's like, uh, it's like a superhero, like, you know, a comic book superhero, like when they donned the costume, you know? Such a cool scene. Okay, actually, wait, why did I... I did do the, all the sub-stories, yeah, before I moved on to uh, Legend. There you are. Yo, Kevin. Oh, oh. I'm start. I'm gonna start thinking Yakuza Six Kiryu is young. Yeah, he was only like what four years younger. That's pretty young. Here we go. I love how each one is barehanded in this intro. <laughs> We got this, we got this! Nice, Kevin, hope you had a good time. Exactly, man. You get it. And Yakuza is anime. Oh no. Why can't you arrest the shark? Well, we can paralyze them. That's the next best thing. Akiyama versus shark. Oh, 
我上来。Beautiful. Now it's gonna lag. Like hell, look. Oh, 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 oh. At least my OBS preview did. Yo, manic. It's Palikana time, guys. Your playthrough was bussin' on a stack, Kevin says. On God? For real, for real? No cap? Thank you, buddy. Drop all your shit and beat it. Cut it, cut it. Drop all your shit and beat it. Guys, would you drop all your shit and beat it, or no? Beautiful. See, that's a speed tech. You guys... You guys don't get it, but it's a speed tech. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! That whistle. <laughs> there was a funny uh, mind placement near stairs. Yo, Roy. Hell yeah. I could have been here like half an hour ago, even more probably. But we kept a lot of stuff. I'll kick you down and Here's your millisecond of speed star. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, there we go, there we go. Watch this. <laughs> I'm, ac I'm, I'm actually gonna fucking laugh if that is faster than taking the stairs normally in the speed run. I can actually see that being the case. <laughs> Why take the stairs? Just take the mine. Watch this. That was not as impressive as I wanted it to be. I don't think so, Ghoul. Can we arrest these guys, I wonder? Arrest that scumbag! Oh, hell yeah! Thank you, Roy. Thank you, buddy. Arrest that scumbag! <laughs> attempts did you did your Jingu challenge one take? Wait, are you asking me or someone else? Legion. Pretty sure you can skip that fight. Alright. Keep on walking, you two. Keep on walking. Whee! Um, Ready for this? I don't remember actually. Quite a few. I decided to use weapons in that fight. Hope you're enjoying those mashed potatoes, sir. 
Here's your millisecond of speed star again, guys. Four hundred and seventy tries. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not me. How much money do you have? The maximum amount. A billion yen. Or ten million dollars. No, that's not me, Kevin. <laughs> Can we arrest this guy? Okay, maybe not. I don't think the squid will be an issue. The squid wasn't an issue even in my first playthrough. Hell yeah, level up for my boy. We can rest up. We don't need to, but... It's not just the cows, by the way, that stare at you here. Look at the little fella. And also the chicken... chickens? Mm. Alright. Bye bye. Here's a question, guys. Should the squid be in the long battle segment of the video? I think it should be. Because, like, yeah, it's a separate part, but it's in the, you know, the same sequence. Look at this guy. Bro thinks he can heal. I thought he was saying actually. Okay. By the way, this area looks fucking gorgeous. Look at all the colors. Here we go. I love how the two times, or the couple of times we talked about animals just now, Roxy just typed the crunch emote with the animal. <laughs> God damn. 93. What was the thing weak to again? Blades? Maybe guns? I don't know if it even had a weakness, honestly. Uh, maybe fire, yeah. Actually, you know what I can do here? Oh. 
Nice. <laughs> and that was without buffs. Man, I'm so glad the all-out um, attack in this game is actually useful. It is possible to do 10k, yeah. Like, it doesn't cap at, uh, you know, 9999. And I love that. I do. I did 11k damage uh, at some point when I was grinding. And I saw someone do 16k damage. Why Chinese? Why not? We played with the uh, Japanese dub, so a little variety never hurts anyone. We don't need to pick this stuff up, but might as well. <laughs> Whose voice do you think is a hit or miss? Um, I haven't been paying much attention, honestly. <laughs> Next playthrough, play the silent dub, yeah. Just delete all the audio. <laughs> Thoughts on mini apple pies? I feel like you're talking about specific apple pies that we might not have here. I don't know when was the last time I had apple pies, honestly. Nice reverie. I did a little bit, man. Japanese voices, no subtitles. Giga Chad, yeah. Uh, okay, I better be careful not to save on my uh, premium adventure save. Just in case. Here we go, guys. Holy grenade time! Oh, not yet. Now? Yes. No audio. Giga Chad. White Giga Chad, even. <laughs> I love the price price fights. I wonder if we can arrest that other guy. Probably not. Nice. <laughs> nice pose, bruh. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh m no fucking way. <laughs> I doubt she's fucking broken, man. God damn. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I was thinking he was gonna do the holy grenade now, maybe. <laughs> uh... Bro, this track is so good, what the hell? Hold on, officer! <laughs> no hold on for you. Wow, this fight goes by pretty quick. So far, at least. Oh no. That's the guys in the back now. 
They think Bryce is so cool. <laughs> We can try to arrest the price, but I don't think it's gonna work. Split second of speed star, as usual. Did that guy fall down? I think he did! Okay, Adachi, it's your time to shine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it ain't happening. Oh no, not the gun! Bro, stop! <laughs> Watch this! Okay, this goes hard though. <laughs> that kind of synced a little bit. Oh, holy grenade! Grenades, even! <laughs> Look, he, he thinks he's cool. <laughs> Dragon engine moment. Let's try this now, actually. It's uh, stronger if you have a debuff supplied. God damn, okay. Bro, he's getting bodied so fucking hard right now. It's like just bullying, that's that's the best way to put it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Sonic, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Hey, uh, so we're almost at seven hours now. I'm gonna say, like, we need, like, half an hour more. Maybe not even. Depends. Okay. Let's save again here. Uh, okay, 28 is my latest premium adventure save. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to save on that. Just in case. Five more minutes at this rate. Hey, come on now. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually glad that I saved because I thought you were, you were gonna roam in Kamurocho. I forgot that you don't. One more hit. Got him. Oh, look at chat. Absolutely throwing it back right now. Akiyama was all we needed this time. Same ghost. I think one of these guys has uh, the curse status effect. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, it's the other one. This guy spent the, the fight on the ground more than uh, standing. And you know what? I'm here for it. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Never mind.
Was the new game plus Legends playthrough harder in 7? Yes. Mostly because they made it inconvenient though, not because it was actually difficult. Because like for party members, you had to uh, select each job again to get the permanent stat buffs. But in this game, you have them from the beginning. That helps a lot. Like, a lot. A lot. Do you prefer skill-based combat or turn-based combat more? I mean, I like both. No specific preference, really. Oh, Leon, fuck you, you have to choose. No, I don't have to. Do you prefer turn based or turn based more? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you prefer like a dragon or Yakuza? Yeah, go cool. hell yeah! Which final boss do you prefer in this game? Honestly, Bryce! Like overall, thematically, as a story, you know... As a story preference. But like... Ebina's dynamic intro is so good because it has everybody. But overall, you know, I probably would pick Bryce. The boys' time. The boys. Okay, I'm gonna take my time a little bit in this fight. Level 99, I just noticed. Damn, okay. Nice! Parry the knife like it's nothing! Like it's nothing! And they die from it too. <laughs> I love this so much. Ebina's monologue felt like it was meant for Ichi. Honestly, that's one thing I disagree on. I do think Ebina was kind of mid. But most of what he uh, brought up was very related to Kiryu. Like about, you know, how he should just kill the guy. Because he's gonna come back. And also he called out how Kiryu himself keeps coming back. That was a very Kiryu thing, if you ask me. Yeah, Roy. Carlos, what, what's your obsession with racist jokes, dude? Just tone it down. Please. I tried to tell you this, like, what, two times at this point? Autocorrect, yeah, sure. That's why it happened, like, two or three times. Yeah, I don't think Ebina's completely horrible. I do like some things about him, but... Oh, here we go! Peek!
Yeah, oh sorry, my cat stepped on my keyboard. <laughs> I know for a fact that was not a typo. Yeah, dogs. God damn. <laughs> Daigo emotes. What should the Daigo emotes be? Gun, I guess? <laughs> I fully expect it to be 99 by this point, but uh, it's no biggie. I heard that grinding the big swell on Legend is actually nuts. Like you could uh, reach 99 probably in a few fights. Uh, that depends in TRS. If you're going on, like. Go to the difficulty selection, it'll tell you what level you need to be. It's 55 for hard and 75 for legend. I just, like, I, I would say just spend some time in premium adventure, get some gear, uh, grind a little bit maybe. Oh wow, he can just ignore them, okay. <laughs> Sick. I'll do. I'll. I'll take it. Yo, done. Is Big Swell worth it? I've spent 160 hours in the main game. I mean, if you love the game and you want more, then yeah. Man, Carlos really struggles to pick up a hint, uh, doesn't he? <laughs> Can we permanently ban? Whoa, come on, a perma ban? <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I don't really care about that stuff. But, like, Carlos is just kind of asking for it. Oh, whoopsie, I said a slur. Oh, haha. -ha. Uh, very funny, you know? Like, get it, guys? I said a whoopsie, see? 
Okay, these fight th these guys can get pretty annoying. Okay, Carlos. It doesn't take much effort to just admit um, that you were being uh, a little silly, but uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm just checking the chat history a little bit. Bro is playing the Ching Chong dub. Okay, that sounded racist. I'm sorry if I offended everybody, anybody. And then... I was gonna say something racist, but... Uh, I'm gonna hold off. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> this would have been way easier if he just admitted um, that you were being a little silly. But uh, because you're pushing it, like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. All you had to do was literally say, okay, I'm sorry. That that's that's it. Like really. But no, you're like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Again, I actually don't, like, I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. Um, but, like, you're in a public place right now. And, like, you've been giving, like, what, five warnings? Sheesh. Every single time, you were like, no! Uh, autocorrect, sorry, guys. Autocorrect, it's the goddamn autocorrect! Freaking... All right, this is it. This is it. Guys, who wants to see Ebina's speech again? <laughs> I'm gonna assume nobody. Hello, Abdullah Shakhbarak. Azima, Ajbitak. Ajib Allah, but sorry, I don't know why it Ajib me. Hi, Lomi. It is M26. Okay, this... Peak. But why did this have to happen? <laughs> All that grinding, just gone. Okay, let's see how this fight is gonna go. Yeah, Sayaka was a cushion for so many. But like, again, props for the fact that they included everybody. That's a first, I'm pretty sure. Kume final boss one? He doesn't deserve one. Nice tiger drop. Oh no, how? Okay, how does that make her fall asleep? 
Who the heck is Kume? Play Yakuza 7. You'll find out. And you'll love it. Ah, Psycho can tank it. it. Guys, come on, it's okay. Look at her. Mm. Oh, really, resource? Nice. I'll try to remember that, but knowing myself, uh, you know. <laughs> How would you feel if Aizawa and Shishido teamed up for the finale of the Ichiban Saga? I mean, th there is an idea there, I think. the big swell? No, not on stream at least. <laughs> you know, I think I should have failed that. It looks cooler. I wanted to do the to do the fancy knife step. Uh, is this gonna be the last of Infinite Twelve? No. Maybe with streams, but even then, I don't know about that. Do you think RGT is going to bring back the new party members of Infinite Wealth? I can see Tomizawa coming back, but I don't know about Jitose, given what we know. But, what do you guys think? Oh no, not Paralysis. Oh, 
Let's go, baby now. We can. Actually, like logically, Tomizawa should be the one that probably isn't gonna come back because, like, he's a face model and everything. But, like, you know, they, they said a very specific thing about Chitase at the end of this game, so I don't know. Yeah, rockets. That goes so hard. Look at Abina's face. <laughs> oh shit, I fucked up! Any plans for the channel after Infinite Wealth? Um, once I'm fully done with this game, I'm probably gonna try to make like... Um, I want to say essay videos, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna make like hours long essay videos. But yeah, just like general Yakuza videos probably. And you know, random streams um, here and there. Yakuza related and non-Yakuza related. Also, yeah, GG's. We did this uh, sub uh, seven hours and a half. And by the way, keep in mind, like I said, there's a lot that we could have um, made quicker. I kept a lot of cutscenes. Maybe not a lot, but I kept cutscenes. And there are fights that I could have finished quicker as well. Who would you say had a cooler boss fight? Shishido or Mine? Shishido. Absolutely Shishido. Honestly, it's har hardly even a competition for me. Shishido stomps. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, Roxy. Someone should mod carry on top of Majima. I'm pretty sure someone did that. Now, who's Shishido versus Ryuji? Shishido. It's even less of a contest here, honestly. <laughs> I think the only, like, in my opinion at least, the only one that comes close to being as good as uh, Shishido is Nishiki. At least uh, story wise. Is Abina's story like Mine, kind of? I think I saw a couple of people saying that, but honestly, no, I think he's very different. The only thing they have in common is like what? They're both orphans, kind of? But other than that, their motivations are very different. Very, very different. Mm -hmm. If Kiryu was left unplayable in the next game, who would you want to take his spot in the party? Easy, Yamai. Give me Yamai. 
同生一马。海老明，我非常清楚自己没有资格说这些话，但我还是要说。你会很荒川。Holy, that jump scared me. <laughs> 还有所有的黑道我都理解。I don't know what's up with the stream deck. Like the, it did this before as well. I was doing the sound. And like the first frame of it was like a thousand percent volume. <laughs> sorry, guys. If I woke up anyone, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you somehow. Uh, I said this before, but I don't completely dislike what they did with Ebina. Could have been better, definitely, but like... This scene in general is really good. Because it feels like, for the first time in forever, Kiryu is like, basically begging a villain to, you know, move on. Um, Ebina is like, shit bro, didn't know you were chill like that. <laughs> He's still in shock. <laughs> He's not coming back in Yakuza 9, guys. He's dead. Maybe I just find a reason to live now, yeah. This is going to be a year for a year. It's going to be a long time. Hi, Lao Ming, Ying Er, and Blyce. Now, everyone is not aware of these two people. Eh? The hot point is... The boss is looking for the name of the Dang Yiyuan Chukui. How does it feel? How is the Chinese stuff? Pretty good overall. The boss is like this. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, a lot of the characters sound uh, very close to their Japanese uh, counterparts. Yeah, Kevin. Like a number right here, for example, is based on a real actor. Like the face and the voice, not just the voice. Same for Tomizawa. So, I can understand the feeling of Hai No reincarnation. I was joking about that multiple times. Like, when I saw that guy in my, in my first playthrough, I was like, wait, who the hell is this? Like, did I miss something? Favorite new karaoke song. Uh... Mm, probably the Jungi one. Honolulu City Lights is really good as well. Honolulu City Lights I think AG had potential to be a great character. Uh, but he's unfinished. He's literally unfinished. Like, there should have been something between, you know, his last appearance and, um, 
，别不老、哦。你要去帮忙啊？毕竟我也吃过好几次帕雷卡纳发的爱心餐呀，就当多少还点恩情吧。不管布莱斯怎么样，被帕雷卡纳救过的。Guys, what if AG really does become a party member in the next game? 真的很多，就算为了那些需要帮助。I honestly hope he doesn't. Like I'm usually pretty open to a lot of things, but like, no. 我怎么感觉你好像长大了？你什么意思呀？我这么做根本就没什么大不了的，就不和拉尼比了。我甚至不如千岁。千岁也同样选择了充满荆棘的路啊。It would just feel really weird, cause like you're giving us a party member that wasn't really, you know, written completely in the previous game. But like, yeah. 那家伙就是这么个人，一直是。好了。By the way, something else I love about this game. Any scenes where like you see the whole party like this, really good stuff. 什么情况啊？难道那个家伙还在 ？You just see them chilling like you know normal people. 还不搞定，啤酒都不。Then you have this. 一帆，我现在。Okay, th this scene doesn't bother me as much as it bothers other people, but I do think they went a little overboard with like how stupid each one is. Like, come on. Nice shin here. Yeah, Kevin, I do think people might have taken this scene a little too seriously. I think it'll be fine in the next game. Unless they have Psycho ghost each one again, like, come on. <laughs> 才会导致你不开心。啊，当然了，那些话确实说的也挺糟糕的。可是我最近终于明白了，那不是最根本的问题。Have you seen the 500 IQ plays he did in Yakuza 7 and this game as well? 比起心情还有说话的方式。Like the, the plan he formed to ambush Ryo Aoki in 7? 本来应该在最开始说的话。No, this is just comedy relief. 花了一年的时间。我总算是把这个道理想清楚了，所以 ，It's actually, you know what this is like? Literally the Akiyama and Hana scene at the end of Yakuza 4. Same thing, exact same thing. 拜托你 ，Akiyama is not stupid at all. 再给我一次说出想法的机会吧。But they wanted to do a haha little, you know, funny scene. And like I wouldn't say Akiyama is an idiot on a social level either. The guy is a genius. Yeah, Akiyama became a detective in Yakuza 5. I think the main problem was Saika ghosting Ichiban. Yeah, well, what about Hana? She became a desk in Yakuza 5. Come on. Saika still has, uh, you know, potential and time. And then you have Kaoru. It took her like six, eight games to have a conclusion. It's still not too late, guys. Guys, would you buy this if it was merchandise? 
上只属于我们两个的爱的旅途。Yeah, I do agree, Roxy. She, she definitely could have been written better. Ah, 真的没救了。不死一次，这傻气是治不好的。对，说的太对了。Hell no. <laughs> 人越傻就越不。Okay, guys, would you buy Tommy Zhao's jacket if it was merchandise? 这样的人一定能坚强的活下去。等一下，小沙，等等我。I wonder if they just copied Nanoha's like everything, honestly, like the outfit and the hair. <laughs> Maybe not the hair, but the outfit. Mama, why is the boy not here? Do you think they'll do post-launch DLC for the game? Honestly, I don't think so, but I'd love to be proven wrong. See, she's smiling. They probably did meet, and she's happy that he decided to get treatments. That sound. Whoosh. Okay, guys, we did it. Legend uh, conquered. And look at that. On the last save slot. No way, I can play premium adventure now? Guys, look at this. Yeah, I think they met off screen. Which is weird, because I think we should have seen that. Okay, guys, that was Infinite Wealth. I hope you had a blast um, watching this and hanging out. Um, I'm tired. I need to go rest. <laughs> but this was a lot of fun. Um, I had a good time. Um, I'm gonna probably move on to making the boss videos soon. Hopefully. Soonish. And yeah. Um... Hope you guys have a good day, or good night, uh, whatever time it is over there. Uh, thank you so much for watching, for joining us and hanging out. And I'll see you when I see you, very soon, hopefully. Very soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye now. <laughs>